Welcome. <laughs> the Mega 64 pod. Wait, no, forget the podcast. Oh, yeah? More important is that we are going to arrive in your town live. This November, Mega 64 is coming to your town. If you live on the West Coast, that is. Sorry, East Coasters, you had your chance. <laughs> We're too late. The Mega 64 farewell tour coming to your town. We're going all the way down the West Coast. Check out the tour dates starting in November. We will be coming to a town near you. Come see us. Tickets are live at mega64.com slash tour. Come see us in a st- in a climactic stage spectacular feeling. Fe- feeling. Yeah, we're going to be feeling ourselves. And, oh, yeah. And showcasing sketches, video, and media, multimedia explosiveness. And um, I don't know. What else is in the show? Are you going to be there or is your program going to be there? Because I, I can barely see you over the... Uh, <laughs> Digital oh, yeah. represent, uh, you know, the your grid representation. Yeah, there. yeah. This is a new uh, set decoration. This is kind of a, its permanent spot, um, and I have been uh, replicated on the grid. But I wasn't ready to. I'm not going to address right. that yet. It's just a little. That's a little. This is a little teaser. Okay. How'd you notice that, Garrett? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was kind of hoping you wouldn't see it. Yeah, until I don't know why time. you. I mean, geez, ruin <laughs> his bit. You can't. Even- <laughs> uh, we're also going to new cities that we've what? never gone yeah. to before. Yeah. And what, another whole country? Vancouver even? is yes, that's brand right. new. Yeah. Uh, another country. Uh, Sacramento, it's new. We've been close to Sacramento. We haven't been to Sacramento yeah. before. No, we didn't have you ever Vancouver. been there before? Or Golden Capital? I have gone to Sacramento. I've yeah. like driven through it. Yeah, I've, I've, never, I've, been I've never been to Sacramento. Uh, but what I'm really excited about is places like Salt Lake City. Oh, yeah. Yep. Colorado. Yes. I've never been to Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Yep. Cannot wait to go yeah. there. Yep. Um, yeah, so please uh, get the tickets. Come out and see us. It's going to be a great Sensor time. Censor Garrett when that comes out on Tuesday, Johnny. What? Is that what he's talking no about? no one would have noticed. That's not illegal. Until he ruined or that it. Is Ill- Ill- it's, it. It is legal. <laughs> Therefore, it's lame. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm super excited to get back on the road. I'm like... Cannot wait. To you love the van back. life. I, I like the van life a lot. I, I like do going too. from city to city. And, you know and what? Seeing, I'm going to be areas, completely honest with you. Yeah. The last tour, not enough movies were played. It was it the van fast. life wasn't as fun. But oh. yeah, qual- quality over quantity because we played. Uh, what was it? Trauma. That oh, that trauma thing life. was awful. <laughs> that ruined my life. <laughs> that was dribble. Awful. Yeah, yeah, that we, made that, that was like what more movies? No, these <laughs> motherfuckers refused to play any movie at all until it was dribble, and then it's like okay, so you just, no, no hey, one wanted to watch a movie uh, after dude, that. I thoroughly enjoyed <laughs> yeah. Body Slam. Thoroughly enjoyed Body yeah. Slam. Oh um, yeah, bad eighties movie. I thought it was fun. I yeah. do agree. We need to bring more cool movies and watch them on the I on think, the road. Minnesota Memories was a classic. That, yeah, well, that was. Uh, that was a classic. That was unbearable. Yeah. yeah. I was so upset because downstairs I found, uh, not downstairs, sorry. Uh, I was out and like, looking into our old boxes and shit and yeah. I found uh, uh, a box of DVDs just randomly. Oh, in, nice. In like, yeah. the, like an alley. Yeah. And I was like, what is it? And I'm going through it. And then one was handwritten. It said our wedding. And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah. I found Minnesota Memories Part 2. Who gets yeah. out of that? We're going to watch it. So I, I popped it in my DVD player to see, like, okay, what is it going to be? And it was like an actual movie called Our Wedding, like from like the like the early 2000s. No. Oh. That, and someone ripped it it's and like, then wrote Our Wedding. Oh. It's like sharpied onto a CDR and it's like, oh, this is going to be classic. And it wasn't. It was a drama. It, Man, that's a bummer. Yeah. yeah. That is quite the tease. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm glad, honestly, I'm glad that I experienced that like in the studio because if I would have brought that without previewing it, oh, it, it, it would have killed the live show. Yeah. yeah. If, yeah. if we would have popped that on and it was like, <laughs> oh, it's some shitty movie called Our Wedding. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I would have been so pissed off. I so. know. Ted Danson. I know. Um, right. Yeah. So I'm excited for the tour. Yeah. I do want to make a little bit of a serious announcement before sure. we yeah. press on from there. If we can kind of change the mood a little bit. Of course. I have made the decision uh, to leave Channel Awesome. Theme song. What's well, you awesome? <laughs> that was the biggest jump scare we've had in Johnny history. We said that, that we good. said that, and then. 
said theme song and we literally hear a stumbling with oh fuck <laughs> <laughs> that was the best we ever got him. Oh, you're yeah. not even gonna see that we're not gonna even see that at halloween horror nights <laughs> hey you're you're leaving uh channel awesome um yeah it's behind me now well hey man that is good news let's move forward because i think that we should restart achievement hunter you and me okay i'm in <laughs> I okay don't know what's it's back anywhere what is channel awesome what is going on <laughs> um um google is your friend <laughs> do you do you like when people tell you that yeah when you don't know what something is they current say, dude is your friend yeah. do you even tiktok uh eric who's in the chat used to do that all the time and it truthfully eric would drive me oh. insane <laughs> okay oh, yeah. all right it's time for this week's segment eric impressions all right this it, is like back in like uh, the brand new iphone day yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay this is improv oh, so I eric, eric Badur impression coming yeah. in hot get it ready <laughs> okay ready uh well let me do a sean impression first okay go ahead. Go ahead. um who was the guy that played um who's the guy in it's always sunny in philadelphia who was that okay that was that's me that was okay, sean that could be me yeah, that's yeah, pretty sure. good sure Eric Eric Bedour coming in hot. <laughs> man, don't you wish we just had like computers in our pockets that could you could just look these things up in? Man, did, wouldn't it be cool to have computers that you could that you just had in your pocket that you could find out a name that you could <laughs> And I don't know. Yeah, Eric, Eric says eight out of ten. Yeah, 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 pretty yeah. good. That's passing. Hey, for, yeah, for off good. the cuff, I'll take an eight. I'll but take an eight. I, I'm I ready remember for him doing that a lot and being like yeah, I know. I'm just making conversation. I'm just talking. Eric. Sometimes it's but fun to guess. There is something to be said, though, about you got to get it yourself first. Yes. There's something. Is that weird? Earn it. That's something that exists for some reason. It's like, oh, who is the guy in the birdcage? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I could immediately look that up, but yeah, it's like, but no, no, I got it. I got to like, I know it. I trust I, my yeah. noggin. And that's yeah. the thing, too, is there is this recently happened to me. I was watching Clueless. Okay. And the her dad in that movie is this actor who I'm like, I've seen this guy before. What have I seen him yeah. in? I couldn't figure it out. Totally. Mm -hmm. And then I'm staring at him like, I've seen this guy and he in the in a movie that I know, he goes, make 10%. Like that. Like very clear, like, what the fuck? Yeah. And I would I could have looked it up. Mm -hmm. But I spent 20 minutes going crazy uh -huh. <laughs> until finally Jenny's like, okay, it's rookie of the year. He's rookie of the year. Like, oh, <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> but you sometimes you need. You need a, you know, mm -hmm. you little like jump. I do yeah. it with music. Okay, Eric says that it sounds like they're saying that I'm not the tree in it. Like I don't say this for ten straight minutes. You know, yeah. after a minute you do have to I stop and look it up. Do. I'm sure if no, you Eric know, is rude. Yes, but I'm <laughs> fucking annoying. I know. <laughs> you gotta I get this. You gotta let everyone get their guesses in, and then the one person looks it up, and then you see who was. My right. favorite is I look it up, but I don't tell you. Go, oh, you 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 know this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> just oh yeah. Or, oh, you just and I'll try to give I, a clue. You know, it's there are times that like I'm like so annoyed with myself. I think these poor fuckers around me because I'm sick of me. Like, <laughs> I, I figure I, you're annoyed with me. No, it's me. I just uh, look at myself and go, what is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> but yeah. Welcome to the show, everyone. Yeah, yeah we're getting deep. <laughs> we're going inside, looking retrospectively. We're talking about what we used to do in 2008. Now, the new phone did come out. The new iPhone oh, 15. 15. I, yeah, which I think is the last one. That's uh, We're done, right? I think right? they, I think they did like announce that. that. They're they like, yeah, we're, we're calling it after this. Uh. I, I think it's next to me. Did you get one? I did. Ooh. Um, it's all set up now. I've got it all set cool. up. I got the uh, the the color of this one because they only gave shades of gray this year. <laughs> uh, I went with natural, um, the big natural. And so everyone's been asking, wow. how's, how's the big natural going? And I wow. said, I always say that I'm teasing texts out with my big natural iPhone. Now, that, fuck. Um, That's a gross. sentence. I, I'm I can't, choking on your that, shot. That is sentence. that fucking okay? <laughs> this you know is what? driving if me fucking crazy. It's really distracting. It is. Me, then guess what? He's been derezzed. Oh <laughs> god! Oh, I can see you now. I can see my wow, friend. You want to see me so bad? That's how much he's obsessed with me. It's true. It's <laughs> yeah, true. we'll get to we'll get uh, to toys in the after show. I've seen how is I mean I've seen a lot of things. Seen like it's not as durable as past iPhones. Like, like the I mean every iPhone that comes out, yeah. they find the thing that will kill it. But, and well, then there's that's a gate. the new story. There's a gate. There's at every, gate. There's gate uh, at every oh, iPhone. I, I've heard this is drop from any height gate. What? What, what <laughs> is interesting? 
I've just seen things like, oh, it's durability test, and it's like the simple, the first test, like test one to see how it does. Oh, it broke. Oh, fuck. Well, this you is let me get past the, the first test. Read the community notes, bro. They didn't have a consistent test. Yo. What, what is the community uh, notes? Okay. Thank you, Elon, for that. Mm -hmm. um, thank you. I'm back on Elon's side now. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of an Elon guy. <laughs> but, but dude, back on Elon. dude this let guy let video got the new phone, it. and he's on Elon's side. And, so uh, and you know. It. As of the, I don't think X was quite compatible with my iPhone 14. Oh, Andy called it X. But the 15, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, yeah, Elon, we're we're buds again. Cool. That's I'm cool. I'm operating the Doge account now. Ooh, which is kind of fun. <laughs> and crypto, God, yep. Rocco. Uh -huh. Yeah, and NFTs are dead now. I'm I'm gonna be the one that brings them back. <laughs> Nah, Starling. I think, I think that's hey, you see that? There For were a lot real. of new yeah. stories this week that like N the NFT market is like Explain this beyond busted. All, yeah, all, all of my sad apes or whatever yeah, the, are done. The worth of has just dropped to because no, nothing. it's stupid. Yeah, yeah it's, it was it's, always well. Stupid. That's see, that's the common man's approach. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but now is when you get into it because now it's like alt. Like it's like so, <laughs> whoa, you got a bored ape? Yeah, those are worth nothing, are they? So the yeah, value they is might, plummeted. It might be. And like the market has crashed, but they all still the blockchain still works. It's not like mm -hmm. there's an error happening. No, nothing no, bad no, no, happened. No, no, no. Oh, okay. The, the the demand is not there. Yeah, it's finally pointless enough but, to reflect that. <laughs> but you gotta um, you gotta get ready for um tonight on Fox. There's this show. Um, this is real, by the way. Um, there's a show premiering tonight called Crapopolis. Shut up. Uh, which was at San Diego Comic Con the I've, last two years. Yeah, I've I've, I've heard that. It's name a Fox before. animated series. Yeah, and I believe it was based all around NFT stuff. Shut like up. people's <laughs> NFTs are in the show, oh, or fuck, or you dude. can buy pieces of the show. So that started tonight. Shut oh, I haven't okay. seen any news oh. story. I haven't legitimately. I haven't seen any news story connect those dots. That collapsed this week. Anyway, here's our NFT show. Crap that. up, and it's called and it's called. Crapopolis. What a hell Anyway, so we're gonna we're gonna be the new source that connects that bridge uh, for you. Dan Harmon, shout out. Always yeah. thought he was great. This is kind of the peak. That I think. Community was down here, but now yeah. we got Crapopolis. Shouts out. <laughs> that yeah. was it. That was community. He's community, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a stupid question. No, he I blanked at, out all of a sudden. Yeah. He was at my DJ set at Pex. Oh. Oh, that, that was, was a good Justin guy. Yeah. Justin Roiland. Justin Roiland's a good one. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> what are you animators <laughs> up to? <laughs> what is wrong? Can't you should've just make just, a fucking cartoon? Should've answered them. Nope. Should've like her just figure that one out. <laughs> God damn it. You got a phone. Google it. <laughs> oh, Justin Roiland. Ah, the good one. Nope. 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 <laughs> I don't trust him. Oops. Uh, so how is anyway. the phone? Is it good? Like I mean, I'm like doing, I'm camera? I'm fucking calling motherfuckers. No, but oh, are you honestly, texting? the cameras make uh, out the most. Yeah, I've been. I, no, honestly, uh, the day it came, I did a stream. It showed up just before I did a stream on. I did. A, I haven't. I hadn't done my stream in like yeah. weeks. Yeah, because sure. we were gone. We'll we'll talk a little bit about some of the stuff we did while we were gone. Whatever, but um, I hadn't streamed so long. I was like, I'm missing it. I'm gonna do a makeup stream, and I made some of those cheddar biscuits. How easy was yeah. it? Was oh it, yeah, how, how was that it? was. Oh, it's so easy. Now, I don't bake very often. Sure, yeah. But what a worthwhile endeavor Ooh. baking is. And sure, you know what, Kevin, I'm teaching you this lesson. Okay. You you I, didn't I, know I'm here to learn. What up? <laughs> but uh, I want to say thank you to everyone watching um, and thank you to my father because they oh. both gave me valuable tips. My dad gave me the wisdom uh, to say, hey, the packet of like garlicky seasoning. They give that to you to put in a butter spread that yeah. you spread on the biscuits. Okay, yeah. He said, mm -mm, oh. use half of it in the mix. Let that be in there, too. Oh. That helped. That helped. Okay. And then the tip from the chat, and this was an ask the audience kind of thing. Like enough people said it that it was like, oh, it must be true. Okay. Uh, the amount of cheese they tell you, triple it. Triple it. Triple, and, triple it. And they said by tripling it, it makes it just like the restaurant. Okay. And my dad and I told my dad that later that I did. I was like, the internet told me to do this. And he was like, holy shit, that's the tip I forgot to give you. I, I do put triple three. it. Why, why did that become a thing that it you need to put three times? Half cup of shredded cheese. It's that a, doesn't sound like a lot. I eat you know, those that, but now of hill. Like, it's actually that. like oh. a fourth oh. of a cup. Is really? What they tell you. Oh, okay. Or or is or was it? I can't remember, that's but it doesn't yeah, sound like a lot. It doesn't sound like a lot. Something like that. And then yeah, three times that was perfect. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so I did that and then had so much, ate so much bread during <laughs> yeah. that stream, 
fell asleep afterwards. So I had uh, the brand new phone showed up right before that. And I didn't even set it up till like the next morning. Oh. Uh, but anyways, I've done nothing with the camera. Oh. So I can't really comment on that, but it is so much lighter than the last one. Because mm. really? uh, it's actually a physically smaller body because they pushed the bezel out. They made it smaller. Sorry, uh, Apple cucks are going to get their day for a minute. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> but, um, I like but that the, gray. But the crazy, yeah, yeah, I got it in, you know, it's just like the chrome, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But the craziest thing is this is the first phone that Apple's done with USB-C. Right. Android has had this shit for a million years. Oh, okay. And everyone asked, when's when's the phone going to get it? Okay, it has it now. I was not ready for how much my mind would be blown because now just any fucking thing works. Uh, and you, you're you thinking, oh, what? Oh, the, oh, now I can use the same cable. Oh, it's not just that. It's it, it really starts to shed a light on how stupid it was they didn't do this for like five years because... I'm hooking it up. Any appliance in my house that is a USB. Oh, there's the GoPro charger. No, it charges my phone now. Oh, okay. Oh. It charges my phone. Um, my my car, I'm like, oh, I normally have a lightning cable to hook this up for CarPlay. Oh, what do I do now? Generic ass USB cable. Any USB cable that you could find in the fucking corner of your house, it interfaces with the car and it even works faster than it did oh my with God. the yeah. lightning kit. I hate a lightning I'm, cable. I'm oh. hooking up USB-C cable to my laptop. I'm dumping footage from the Star Cruiser mm. and it takes five seconds. Oh. It's 20 gigs and it's done. It's like, wh why? Beautiful. Oh, why were we doing this for fun? It really sheds a light on how fucking stupid the iPhone situation was. Yeah. You know, I was happy in my own little Apple bubble. And then they add this one connector, and I'm like, why Why were we dealing we're with We're always that? held back. Anyway, <laughs> but it is cool because like a, a, a dollar cable from Amazon that goes USB A to C works with my car, and it works better than the, the, cool. the Apple proprietary cable. You and, know, yeah. it's just stiff, stuff like that like has been crazy. So and, anyway. And well, you're saying like accessories like external hard drives. Yeah. You could shoot yes. video right to a hard drive. You you can shoot raw video now what? and have it just save it to an external. Um, people hooked up a broadband adapter, you know, like yeah. a broadband cable to USB-C. Like, mm, see if that works. Yeah, I bet it won't. <laughs> Hook it up. They have Network. faster internet on uh, their phone. Oh, my God. For streaming. It, it, oh, my God. They if got broadband the phone, yeah. cable internet on their phone. Um, so what about yeah. like hook a Wacom tablet up? I want to try a webcam. Uh, uh, there is uh, an app that just came out that can use the USB C to use an, a USB C to HDMI adapter and make it a uh, external monitor. Oh, that's uh, dope! Like for a camera, and and it works for iPad or iPhone. So we could hook up like my iPad Pro to our camera there, and it's just an external monitor, and it's on a thing. It's wow, like, we can oh, see what we're shooting. Why, close why were we not doing this? Why can't see a light it is this before. Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, Ooh. yeah, much lighter. I don't know if I don't know if it's much lighter than than your phone. Each one was getting a little heavier, mm. and the fourteen was kind of heavy. Um, so well, this this walked it back. I was happy. Looks good. What was the thing we were talking about the other day? Where the ho like some guy was pointing at a hotel, like, okay, they're ready for the new iPhones, and they go to the thing, and it's a thirty pin connector on the oh, on, yeah. on the, the yeah. like clock. Someone <laughs> tweeted that the other day. Uh, what was it? Oh, the Los Angeles Sheraton is all set for iPhone 15. <laughs> and the, the alarm clock with the, yeah, the 24. <laughs> the really connector. long flat. <laughs> Do you remember that on like yeah. the first what, oh, yeah. three or four yeah. iPhones? They, yeah. they lost that a long time ago. Did, but yeah. What was the last phone I had? Did iPhone 4 have that? And I it was think, four, think so. And it was 4S that got the lightning? lightning? I don't I, know. Is that what it was? I that's, think that's what it was. I don't remember. wild that they've used lightning for that yeah. long. Oh, I yeah. What a piece of shit. I have a boombox in the shop in there that has that fucking 30 pin connector. Yep. Wow. I don't know. And what. I have a Bluetooth adapter that goes into it. That's yeah. that old that I just, I use currently with my phone. Whenever you go to like a thrift store, oh, there's yeah. always that old connector alarm for clock. like alarm clock. Yeah. Always. always. And most hotels too. They yeah. all Still. bought it then. Still. Yeah. And I, I do think a really big reason that they all went in on that was, okay, yeah, the iPhone came out. Okay, great. But I think it was especially iPhone 4 was such a explosive Siri. launch. Yeah. Like that was, well, I think Siri was 4S. Oh, I think, it was? I think maybe I'm okay. wrong on that. But the iPhone, I remember the first few iPhones, whoa, this is big. And then iPhone 4 was like, no, everyone should fucking get this. Like it was... You know, that was the, um, you, I mean, I, I, that was the one year that, you know, I was pre-ordering them every year, just like, oh, okay, I got to get the new one. Oh, okay, whatever. And that four was the year I couldn't get into the website. 
Like that was, mm. uh, I remember me and my brother were in LA, I think for E3 and we were both like, holy shit, I didn't get one. It's like, broken. And we had, and uh, remember, and that was the one yeah. that we camped out. Garrett, we camped oh, out yeah. at that Apple store. It was the only time <laughs> oh I ever did that. Oh my God. Yeah. In the morning. I think that was my first one, maybe. No, I had a three. I had, yeah, three I had a three G. Yeah, I had a three G. Yeah. Me too. That was the first one. Me too. Yeah. Um, but the anyway, yeah. So great. that was such a bombastic release. Every hotel felt like, well, dude, this is the future. Like everyone's got an iPhone. The four solidified that. So they all got that connector. And then the 4S came out. Yeah, different cable. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oops. Yeah. Oops. Yep. But, um, yeah, I forgot that before the four, the iPhones were stuck on AT&T and then that they, was it, opened, it opened it up that after that. Yeah. I forgot. But I did just want to say, though, uh, iOS 17, even more of a big deal because what did they do? I don't know if you noticed this. Mm. You've had it a little longer than me. Yeah. Oh, new sounds. They oh, everything's new. Yeah. New sound library. I did not notice and I'm, that. And I'm turning what? it all to all the defaults because now, you know, when you get a comment on Instagram, I hear the bling you know, or whatever that stupid noise, you know, a lot of times I have it off or it goes to my watch, but yeah. in the moments that it doesn't, I hear that default noise and they change the default noise. Now it's just like a, you know, it's just this calm fucking owl city ass yeah. sound huh. effect. And I just, oh, you haven't heard any, no sounds from me. Yeah, I, I, I silence my phone typically yeah. all the time. Yeah. My, mine, I don't hear if I have my watch on, but if I don't, it, then it plays sound. Okay. Dude, uh, live voicemail. I used yeah. it once. Yeah. Fucking awesome. Yeah. I got a call from a number. I, we were in a meeting here. Yeah. Call from a number I didn't know. I'm like, we're in a meeting. Like, well, I'm whatever. not going to answer this. And then send a voicemail. And then I could see host is so and so. We're trying to send you all this merchandise. Like, like a, a, it was a work related. Order that so, I was yeah, waiting yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. And it's like, oh shit. Like, and like I hit answer and like, hello. And the guy was so caught off guard. <laughs> He's like, because that never he, used to happen. No, who answers in the middle of voicemail? voicemail. I'm like, like yeah. hello? Yeah. Hello? Hey, I was just Hello? leaving a voicemail. Yeah. Uh, hi. And I'm like, hey, <laughs> hey, no, yeah, I, yeah, I'll, I, I made a time. It was fucking dope, though, because I've, yeah. I've never answered that. Cool. Yeah. And I had to call him back. He has answered. Oh. Uh, yeah, no, uh, speaking of phone calls, they did make phone calls more fun again. They really did because now now i have it with the the um you told me about it that poster uh that you can make yeah you can make your own poster for when you call someone so it pops up on their phone yeah whatever photo you want so i made one dude i'm like on the deck of the star cruiser looking like that <laughs> oh. this is my name above yeah. that so when i call you it's like a fucking movie yeah. do you want to call me too. do you want i mean do do let's live, see if it works live test i okay. hope we don't uh we're not going to oh, dox oh, each no, other. This is, this is always name. fun. This is always fun whenever this, we do yeah, this. Show, here, show the screen, coward. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm scared. I will. See. I'm scared. Okay, I'm going to call you right now. Okay. Let's see, let's see if you get my poster. Okay. I mean, we've... Oh. Careful. Sometimes your phone... Oh, oh we ran into this. It was because your phone's uh, locked. It doesn't show it unless your, your phone's unlocked. Okay, so wait, I'm going to hang up. I'm going to hang up on you. Or this is fine. You're, it's because okay. you're right. not looking now, at your okay, phone. Okay, so Look now it, until it's time and then phone's turn. unlocked. Yeah. Phone's that? unlocked. Okay, yeah. thrill me. Okay, thrill He's me. calling. Me. No, it's not doing it. It's uh, fucking. Are it's you? Right updated? There. It's right there. It's there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, now you answer it. Let's I see. answer. Wait, touch the yeah. my name. T I'm touching your name. That's there. My poster. Oh, there it is. Okay. It's not gonna show anything, is it? I'm um, looking. I think you're safe. Yeah, we're safe. Boom. There he is. Wow. There it is. Now, why is my poster not there? Because it probably didn't meet the standard. This is I don't know. I just, I, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Contact poster. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. I don't want to. No, do Sean that. texted on me. It was good. Uh, Doesn't work. Here's my no. Maybe it's if you call me. You know what I mean? Maybe. But that, well, at this point, at this point, what are we doing? <laughs> there we go. That's Garrett. Hey, uh, we've wasted too much time. You guys went to a different fucking galaxy. That's and right. We didn't even talk about it. We were guessing about it last week, but I want to know. I mean, it's closed now. Yeah. Oh, it's, no. I think oh, the, this oh. this next weekend, I think, is the last week. Yeah. Oh, I, thought I, I thought it was done. This cruise. Week. Okay. The cruise is about to be done. Yep. Bon voyage, as they say. But how was this fucking Star Cruise? Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. So we did the Star Wars Hotel. Um, I just want to say out there, I said I was going to go to this thing. I put it out there. And it fucking happened. Okay. Wow. That's what you got to do. Put the energy out there. And I'm going to reveal, I'm going to reveal a second. Uh, I'm going to reveal a surprise here. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, but it's a bummer too. Oh. Um, Bad surprise. I put it out there. I was like, before this thing closes, I'm going. I'm that I'm I'm gonna happen. We found a way. I'm not gonna disclose, uh, but we found 
couple tri- tri- tips and tricks and did get in. However, what makes me sad is I was working on, this is true, a second. I was going to go twice. What? Because uh, there was a really awesome game studio that reached out mm-hmm. and tried to get me Whoa. and Derek and Sean oh, and Garrett. what? Yeah, we Whoa. were going to try to do one for, just for the podcast. Whoa. And uh, but sponsored by I, I started putting I start I started putting all this out there because okay. and this is true earlier in the spring. I just woke up one day and I told Kevin, I'm like, I just have a feeling this thing's closing. Yeah, we need to make moves now. And so that's why I started putting it out there. I'm going to this thing. I'm going to this thing. And sure enough, we found we found life finds a way. <laughs> but one of them, like I said, one of them was a game studio trying to get us in for the podcast. And uh, but then we so we booked ours mm-hmm. just to go. We we just wanted to go yeah. but like, hey, and we'll talk about it for creepy old crypt, whatever. But we just wanted to go and see it before it was gone. We just had a feeling it was going to. Yeah, sure. So we booked ours in spring. And I'm telling you the next week they announced oh, it's closing. Like this was like late April, early May. Dude. Yeah. Seriously, I called them. You used the, the force. Dates, and then like a day later, okay, no more dates can be booked. It's it's done. We're closing it. Yeah. That's how close it was. Wow. Um, wow. And uh, I, I made all the arrangements and did all that. But we were trying to, we were still trying to like call them up and get it to like, yo, how do we get the second one in there so we could film it for the podcast? And it just never, it honestly never happened. It just. We kept trying to get in like, mm-hmm. oh, when someone cancels, put us in and it didn't happen. So I'm bummed about that. That oh. didn't happen. Mm-hmm. But this 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 company, uh, I think they're going to sponsor some podcasts later this year. Oh, cool. You'll hear about them later. I'm very grateful that they made, they tried. made the attempt. Yeah, but yeah. hell yeah. Mm-hmm. So. W- yeah, Kurt Schilling. That's who it was. Yeah, Kurt <laughs> Schilling reached out. Kurt was going to stay in the same room as us uh, and it just didn't work out. <laughs> was See, you Tanga, y- you nailed it. I. Sorry, but Tanga Fine. was the lights. It was it was it. And man, how are we how are we gonna deliver on that sponsor at the hotel? You <laughs> can't even imagine. Yeah, the chat's guessing a Tanga lightsaber, and I would love to oh, see that. There were <laughs> there were sabers. Oh, there were sabers. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just have questions about this. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Place. And I've honestly seen you guys since, but I've kind of held off the questions. Okay, sure. I wanted to wait for the podcast. And and I do feel I do feel a little bad that I was off the podcast last week, and then when I come back, the discussion is Apple and Star Wars. So I'm sure there's, we, there's some people that <laughs> dude, are like last dying. week was fucking Padres and oh okay, okay. Well, it was great out. though it was good it was good dude I not to toot our horn Garrett yeah but. It was good. It was a <laughs> fucking <laughs> awesome. We had King Lord we, Brian Abu Chakra on. People, people had fun. Yeah, we had cool. a good time. We had uh, but yeah, I mean, you you said you recorded a creepy old crip, so I'm sure there's a detailed analysis coming. Correct. Sure. Yeah. But I just want to know, like, okay, so the room, to me, the pictures I saw made it look like it was very small. A very yeah. small, like, is it the size of a like resort or a hotel or a cruise ship? It, or is it just like a little, like, studio you know, I don't uh, know the place itself was huge it truly felt like you were on the deck of a ship mm-hmm. they played the whole thing from beginning to end like it was a cruise so is like, it like more f- multiple floors and stuff yeah yeah oh okay uh yeah, yeah yeah and 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 again and some of it they made it seem like it was bigger too like oh you're on deck seven you're on deck three. Okay, there's three floors. The, yeah, yeah. Seven, there's, there's only three you know, floors. But oh, yeah. but you don't have access to yeah, decks. Th- no, they go like, no. oh, these decks, they even have more decks above that they talk about. Uh-huh. Yeah. There's no decks. Yeah. yeah. Like, so like, some of it is suggested. <laughs> there's but no decks. you're still there and it's gigantic. However, the rooms that yes. you're in, I had heard they were small. They looked small. They were smaller than I was. They, they were pretty wow. small. It, yeah. But it wasn't too bad because really you're not spending a ton of time in these rooms. Yeah. You're sleeping in these rooms. You're you're just like most of the time it's spent out there. If you spend a ton of time in your room, you miss a ton is of stuff. Is there TV? Uh, yeah. yeah is there, as I say, is there TV yes, in the room? You never turned it on. But uh, you never turn turned it on? It on? The, it's not to it's see on normally. It be... It's just like radar and space stuff. Oh, yeah. It was okay. still in character. You could, I think you could watch Disney Plus. You on could, it, but you I could. Didn't want it. Yeah, no, uh, I didn't we want to. We were in space mode, dude. Oh, no, of course. I wanted to know, like, are you? Can people watch like I don't fucking know? Like, yeah, like yeah, ESPN character show. Yeah, I, I, I think you could have. You could have found that and stuff weird, like that. Yeah. And there was a that, there was a phone that you could probably call home and stuff on, but that was about it. I never uh, never did any of that. But despite yeah, like you were saying, um, you're not in the rooms a ton. But um, 
for you know they were there for sleeping yeah. uh and in yeah. that sense they weren't it was weird that it worked perfectly for that yeah because it seems small but like two people could sleep in these holes in the wall basically yeah. they were like cubbies that yeah. you sleep were in. were they comfortable they were fucking totally comfortable oh, yeah, they yeah. Were, every bed was super comfortable but it's so funny because you're in the room looking at it going that's t that's not going to be comfortable it's tiny and then you get in there it's like no this is made for a fucking giant person oh, like it was i slept in the top one and it was so comfortable mm -hmm. and i had a little fucking cubby area for fucking snacks and shit mm -hmm. i was telling people like don't fuck with my snack cubby i had like cookies smuggled away in oh. there it was great yeah. dude they oh, sleep fucking five people. Perfect they sleep bed for a fat they're, they're, oh, five. If, if two people sleep in the bed, because it's a big bed. Right. And then there's three other beds, two bunks, and then a fold out. There's beds oh, coming okay. out of the wall. Yeah, the, I slept in the, the fold out that comes out of the wall. Yeah. So it basically, at, in the morning, you just whoosh, put it out of way, and then you have more yeah. room. What it, do you do all day? Like you say you're busy, you're having a room. Yeah. Well, what could you possibly be doing you, in this you, hotel? You are, you are in a story. You are running across. You're being pulled. Like, hey, I need your help with this, and things like oh, that. Oh, it really? was. It was. I would say day one. I was almost. Um, I never have this feeling of. I have friends that, and I'm, this is not an insult. That everyone is different, but I have friends that sometimes we'll go to like a theme park or we'll go to you know something, whatever. Yeah, maybe we'll go to like not scary farm sure. or something. And I have friends that will tell me, hey, I'm like overstimulated. Like I'm gonna take a break. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, people get that way sometimes. Yeah. It's like there's too, there's kind of like too much happening. I'm going to chill for a minute. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm never really like that. When I'm going to, when I'm at like a theme park or something, I'm like, let's go, let's go, let's go. This was maybe the first time in my life where I was like, oh, holy shit. I got to like slow down. Like there was so much <laughs> happening that first day because if you have FOMO at all or, or it like bothers you to miss things, this, that thing will Not break you. you. Because yeah. oh, you're yeah. in you're in the lobby and it's like oh dude the aliens over that's really cool I'm waiting waiting in line for that like oh and then someone makes a joke about like oh we're gonna get lightsabers later ha <laughs> yeah 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 and then a dude who works there is like you guys talking about lightsabers yeah 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 is that like uh, is that something you're interested in oh. is that something <laughs> is that something that interests you uh, yeah. oh wow. yeah okay like the force the force interests you yeah okay. 4 p.m. Meet, let's meet yeah, by the let's stairs. Let's, go, let's meet over there. It was like, what just, what, what just happened? Oh, yeah. they clue you, you in you, on You stuff. start going and, on a path. Yeah, uh, but then on the schedule, it's like, story. well, at 4 p.m., it says there's a thing in there. Should I, there's like a tour of the ship. Do we want to do that? Do we have time to, uh, look, well, let me just go. Let me just, oh, 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 the guy at the stairs. Oh, he wants us to come into this room. Oh, okay. We're not going to do that. Then? Okay, yeah, yeah. Let's just go. To, you know what I mean? It's yeah. that all day. It was that all day. Yeah. Where it was like, oh, that's cool. I, I missed seven things, but the one thing we saw was cool. But uh, you know what I mean. And mm -hmm. so that's why, honestly, it was like, I wish this was affordable in a way that you could do this a few times. Because right. I honestly, halfway through, my only right. negative thought with it was just, yeah, I'm overwhelmed this first time. But my second trip would have been like, oh, I get it now, you know. Mm -hmm. um, but that will never. Do happen. you <laughs> now? You know, I've been on cruises before. Mm -hmm. And this is a galactic cruise. So is it the same thing? Like in my cruise life, it's like there's always at least pizza and frozen yogurt at yes. all times. Yes. There's always some 24-7 or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Do you have like a you have like the dining hall and there's always oh, food for you? There was uh Ooh. what did they call it? The Crown of Corellia was yeah. the dining room. Okay. And it was buffet in there all day, mm -hmm. every day. Um, and it was awesome because what they did a great job with was they had fa some fancier food. Mm -hmm. It all looked alien. Right. And there were some fancier food that was like, oh, I've never tried this. Oh, what is, is this fucking escargot? What is this? Oh, okay. They had that. They had the weird shit. Wow. But then what they did a great job with is they knew there were going to be kids who want what? Macaroni and cheese and chicken tenders. Sure. But those are even like the chicken tenders are like brown spheres and the macaroni uh, looks yeah. you know it looks, oh, it cool. looks just as alien but then when you eat it it's like oh it's mac it's mac and cheese oh it's yeah. you know whatever um so they did a really good job mixing those things we got to um we were laughing we were looking at all this food and going like damn how do they do all this and then uh one of the employees was was laughing it was me and ryan were were standing there and they were like well, oh what are you laughing at and you're like oh the chef's behind you and we got to talk to the chef oh, for like oh, 20 wow. minutes and he he just went into like how he was like making this stuff he was cool. like he was like yeah enjoy yeah. it all because we're 
in a week we're never gonna make it again. Oh, is it? <laughs> oh they broke character. <laughs> they, you know, oh, they were all. They were. I don't think he cared anymore. Oh, well, what did he do? Fire, what, you fire him. It was really, really cool. Yeah. Uh, it's worse my my favorite thing there. This is gonna sound so lame, but we tried so many different fancy things. But my favorite food that I went back eighty times for was these. They had green spheres. They look like fucking alien eggs. And they were just um, bread. Pa- they were, how do you describe it? They were yeah. sunflower seed butter and oh, jelly. jelly. That's it. Oh. Peanut butter and jelly, they but were it wasn't fucking, peanuts. It was it. It was PB and J. Yeah, but it was like it was so damn. Good. That's good. That's yeah. really good. Dang. So, what was your go-to? Like waking up at like three a.m. Like I'm gonna get a snack. What did you? What that was the, those that was twenty four seven at like three a.m. Not it much was going more on, kind right? of snacks. Since it was more like you know they have cookies, cookies and like yeah, sure. uh, granola bar, yeah. gr- granola kind of shit. Snacky you know, stuff. but like, like but the then, hot food was only certain times. Uh, right. Yeah, but then once seven a.m. hit, then it was all okay. Yeah, you know, all breakfasty and stuff. Eggs. At three a.m., you can roam around the decks, but there's not yeah. a lot of in character no, shit going no. on. You can tell that that stuff is scheduled out. Like yeah. you're going to do this, but like at a certain point, those start going away and then it's just like cool just exploring that's, that's around, when we took photos and stuff yeah around, uh yeah a lot of the activity wow, the, okay, activ- yeah. the planned activities would wrap up around 10 or 11 but like actors might still be there till midnight but after midnight they kind of weren't yeah i get it i had like, to go home yeah. did you guys ever split up just talking uh, about like yeah. fomo like because then you yeah. could get together at the end of the night and be like oh i did this well yeah. i did this yeah, yeah yeah i mean there were some of us that like yo i got involved with the smuggler like wants us to do this shit and it's like I'm. I was sticking to the force. I was like, oh, I want to okay. see that path because I kept hearing, I kept hearing from friends I knew who had done it that they were like, "Yo, stick with the force because you will see stuff that the other ones don't." Yep. And sure enough, we did, and and we go. We recorded a whole creepy old crypt episode. We recorded it there. Oh, inside. Um, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So we'll oh. go. We'll go into it way more uh, on that. But you know, we stuck with like the force storyline. And yeah. at one point, like during day two, they even the whole time you're doing. Um, they have an app through the whole uh, weekend cool. yeah. and you're doing stuff through that where uh like you meet someone oh blah 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 blah. okay and they leave and then later you'll get a thing in the app that's like hey good talking to you um could you hack a terminal for me in the ship uh you might have access that i don't could you log in and th- there would be computers around the ship and you could go on and yeah. and they give you a little magic band you know yeah. that disney world has you beep that in and it's like all right rocco like you have access to the computer what do you want and the person in the app would be like yeah uh Tell me what code it gives you when you do this and this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And then because of that, then in day two, it'd be like, "Hey, I heard you helped uh, the captain of the ship get these resistance codes. So, uh, so you're with the resistance, aren't you? Okay. Oh. Well, I've got well, I've got something for you. Meet me at two o'clock. You know. So it would just day one was kind of like getting involved in a bunch of shit. Day two was like the payoff to what you did on yes. day one. You you'd either like oh. get some reward or meet someone because of what you did. Yeah, on the first day. There That's were cool. areas of the ship that are locked off right off the bat that you can't go in. Oh, and you throughout your storyline will get access to those like like the uh, um, cargo area, the brig, the uh, the the engine room. Basically, oh, that's, that's all like so you don't, locked off. You don't do it all at once on no, the first day, but you'll get thing like hey, I. I I've given you access to the th- this room. Can you go in there and do this thing for me? And yeah. you'll go do that, and then that'll read in the app and everything like that. It's all part of a cool storyline that that meets at the end. Yeah, and and what was weirdest about it was that it's the other half of the storyline of Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Mm-hmm. Like wow. the theme park land has kind of a story, yeah. sort of that you get in the rides and stuff. And then this is the other half of it. I mean, so. They're like, yo, uh, our ship, you know, if we're going to uh, if we're going to um, get away from the first order, like we're in their orbit right now, if we're going to get away from them, we need coaxium like we need a ton of coaxium to power the engines or whatever. So you need to go um, find the Millennium Falcon on Batu, And this guy, Hondo Onaka, is going to tell you how to get coaxium. And it's like, well, that's the ride. Yeah, like that's oh, what right. you do. you're, that's right. what you're doing on the ride. You're and the whole. And now you have the other half of the story It's like you're getting coaxium because the Halcyon ship that you're on needed, needed it. Um, same with the resist uh, rise of the resistance. When you're on the ship the whole time, they're like, Hey, we have a hidden resistance base in the forest. Can you go visit it? And then, uh, they're going to try to move the, we're, we're going to ha- first order knows we're here. So we're going to have to try to move our people over to Picara. So help them. And then you go down there and rise of the resistance happens. Mm. So then when you go back wow. to the, the star cruiser later that day, they're like, yo, we heard a star destroyer. Like had a fucking huge explosion. Like, they say fuck too. They're just wow. they're just, they're <laughs> dropping f bombs. But That's you know what I mean? Crazy. And and it just becomes 
it's cool, but at the same time, sad. That's like, damn, half the story of this land was behind this. You know and what it's I mean? Going like, away. like yeah. Yeah, that's it. So e paywall. either you had to pony up for this hotel or or not get that. And now you'll never get that. So, so you know, it, so it, it, I, I compared it to all I was going to say is I compared it um, on the creepy old crypto mm -hmm. episode. It was like being on the Titanic. You, it was. Yeah. Wow. This is beautiful. There's never been anything like this. It's, it's going to sink. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Oh, we're hitting that iceberg. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how beautiful it was when. You know what I mean? Like when when it was going, like we have pictures of it, we have all these things, but you know it's like, yeah, I see, yeah, we, yeah, your hubris caused your sinking. You know? <laughs> Too good to so, be true. How? Okay, so you went to Batu, yeah, to do the stuff, but how? Because they, I thought you were on this closed off star cruiser. Yeah. Star cruiser that day, they actually it scheduled you are you were like basically parked by the planet Batu. Like it's part of the, the whole thing is in the you, orbit of that. You, planet. you, you're in your hotel room and you look out the window and that planet is right there. Okay. And, and there are transports from the ship to the, to the surface of the planet. So are the transports like a bus you take? So you get in the, the whole thing is themed. They open up an airlock, yeah. get in the shuttle and it is a, like a skate pod basically. Yeah. You sit down, strap all in. I've got themed. footage of all this. But oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Sit yeah. down, you strap in. And there is a robot, almost like Rex from Star Tours, yeah. in there going, huh, we're going to Planet Batu today. Everybody strap in, and we're going to take you, you know, whatever. And then, and they shuttle you there. There's no wind. It's all themed. You, there's no windows. There's no nothing. Now, what does this look like from the outside? Are they it's, driving you? It's a, it's a truck. It's a giant truck. You're in yeah. a truck? Yeah. Yeah. Am I? And this was, this was <laughs> this one of the so things. So and this, <laughs> this is the problem with the, with the Star Wars hotel is it kept having bad PR because everything you see Anything put online looked lame. Like, like right. even the the lightsaber training. Mm -hmm. How awesome was that? that was so it was much so fun. much fun. But videos come out, and it, you just you, you're just seeing people do that. It's like a Wii game. But when you're doing it, it's awesome. But no video looked good of this. Yeah. And then uh. what was hilarious is people were like, "Well, how do you get to Batu? How are they going to get you into the theme park? How are they going to?" And what is the first footage that comes out is, it, "Oh, these are box trucks. These are like U-Haul trucks. Oh, this looks no. terrible." But you don't see that right. you're you're when you're on that. it. We, so who cares? Yeah, like, you get into you you strap into the shuttle and it's do, 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 oh whoa where where are we do, do, and then you get out and you're you're in this this you're in like a spaceport on Batu right. and you come out they've got bottles of water for everybody that are themed to wow. the thing that are the like, illusion you know, never dropped in Florida the illusion yeah. was never, never dropped never at so, any point so on our end it was like oh my god but again from a PR standpoint not only is this thing expensive but then every clip that you get online is like what the fuck are they doing like, if you're this? like seven it's real oh my yeah, god yeah 100%. Okay. oh my god so it's a hundred percent real if yeah. you're a little kid how do they because in a real cruise they say all right we're leaving at three yeah and if you're not here on three we are leaving without you yep. like they, you are gone yeah they and do what, the same thing they do at four, um, 4 p.m and what yeah. happens if you if you miss do it they, do you know i don't know what i i no I one found know. out we should have tested it. Yeah, you we should. Like, ah, fuck it. I We're do, not going back. I do know the 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 launch or whatever, like arriving at the hotel starts at one and goes till four. Yeah. If you miss that four, you don't get to go. Yeah, they straight up said you forfeit the. Yeah, you stay. you don't get to go. What? If you're not, if, if you're not if, there in that one to four window, yeah, like, and it's all in character. Like that's when the launch is happening. Yeah. yeah. And if you're not in the launch, you have not made it, and that's it. You that, don't get to buy the you, you lose your money. I, that's a lot of money. I don't know. But so, they, they said, like, yeah, we do not accommodate. Also, this okay, now. so is there, I'm sure there's a special dock that you have to go to to get back in your box truck to go back. Yes. Um, do you, how do they know that you're not just some guy who's at the park trying to sneak in? The, it's a turnstile within Batu. Like, you still have to beep a thing. Uh, and everybody, you know, beep a thing. Yeah, uh, everybody has magic bands that are, that were, designated just for that yeah place. sure sure and so, so yeah you scan in you yeah you, you beep in it's like oh it's rocco okay yep. uh, okay and okay. then they 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 let you go down this no stowaways to where the it opens it, up and you're on by two yep. now you can obviously leave but two and go to like oh yeah fantasy land you go anywhere the fuck we, uh, i didn't want to do that because no, i was in star wars. In star wars i was thing. like i don't want to see toy story you're land like don't even look out there no no i, would, I was if you're paying that money yeah you're living it i'm not leaving that land yeah no way 
is not Florida's Batu bigger than the LA? Uh, actually, it might be in a little like yeah, the, the foresty area area oh. is smaller mm. in Florida than it is in ours. You oh. know that long foresty area? Yeah. In the thing, uh, it's shortened in Florida. Okay. So that's but that's the only difference I can think of. So then you get your tasks done mm-hmm. on Batu. Batu. Yep. You go back on your shuttle. And now you've unlocked, okay, you've got the stuff we need. And now the story continues. Yes. Yeah. I see. Okay. But then there's also dinner and lunch and breakfast. Mm-hmm. And that, all that that's stuff. all scheduled out. It says like, okay, this is when this is running. And this, oh, this is when your scheduled dinner is the fancy dinner and things like that. Do you think, so now this is like pretty much done. Yeah. You know, do you think that, because they're just going to bulldoze it, right? They're just getting rid of it. Do I don't. Know? They haven't said. Still yeah, a show. No, and no I, one knows what's. I don't see them bulldozing this. I, I don't see them. Because just, it just seems like, like what a waste. It's yeah, too big waste. and impressive. Yeah. And again, I, I'm just a, standing there looking at all this. Like that. There, there's no reason to just let this sit there. And I really think Ryan is talking about it in the chat. Um, we we shared this theory. Mm-hmm. Uh, just it. It's equipped for the whole thing was dinner theater. Mm-hmm. I did not uh. realize. I knew there was going to be role playing, kind of whatever, but. I didn't realize how much it's when it starts. It's like, oh, this is Star Wars play. Yeah. And we're just the whole thing is in it the whole time. Like it starts and then a guy from the First Order shows up like, oh, I'm going to be a passenger on the ship. And it's like, oh, 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 and they're acting it out, you know, and uh, you were it's dinner theater and it's all set up for that. And I share this theory with Ryan that just do that. Make it a a higher price dinner. Like if you go to Galaxy's Edge, oh, hey, for, you know, 200 bucks. You could get dinner. They shuttle you to the thing. Right. Watch the play unfold. You get to eat, and then there's a finale, and then you go back. I just feel like that's a lot more comp or that's a you know yeah. a lot easier pill to swallow than this expensive. But they have hotel all those stay. rooms. Yeah. Now, how but many- that's easily to not. It's it's completely separate from uh, everything. Else. Like oh, like the rooms. it's just basically this whole wing is rooms. This whole wing yeah. is. Screws. God, how yeah. much uh how many people were on it with yeah you? i was um, curious I, about guests it was, other it, guests i think they're all full at this point like like in oh, terms yeah. of every single one we, yeah so we were probably at max i would say like it was something? it's it's a hundred rooms a yeah. hundred okay rooms. so there oh. could be up there could be up, up to, to 400 people, people. Yeah, yeah. in each one or four or five or whatever but uh yeah max capacity it didn't look crowded period. from your photos and yeah stuff. no it was the, you know they, they do a good job of keeping it to it, it, so nothing was like overrun, but yeah, it was it was a sold out uh, thing. Though. They spread it out so yeah. everything. There, there's two dinners. There's an evening. There's an early dinner and a late dinner and stuff okay. like that. That spreads it out for food. But the grand finale, I think everybody goes to, yeah. and that didn't seem like it was like oh jam packed like no. person to person. Yeah, maybe like a so, couple hundred people. Yeah, a couple hundred people maybe. Yeah. Oh, so but there's like a climactic everybody, end. Everybody funnels into this into the main atrium for. The big yeah. finale. The big stuff. And, yeah. uh, okay. Okay. and that was the, the grand finale. Well, I mean, I keep wanting to like not spoil stuff, but, yeah, but well, no one's cares? doing no this one's shit. Doing so it's cares? done. But the finale of it was, uh, you know, after all the Rise of the Resistance shit mm-hmm. that went down, Kylo finds your ship and he boards and shows up. But earlier, oh, in, that, earlier in that day, like throughout the trip, you start to pick up more passengers. Oh, Chewbacca showed up. Oh, that's yeah. cool. Oh. Earlier, mm-hmm. earlier in day two, if you're out in, they have a garden area. Now, the garden area simulates the weather of Batu. Oh, it's, so it's a fucking outdoor it's a patio. Outdoor patio. <laughs> yeah. But, but they play it in character perfectly. <laughs> it's like, oh no, we simulate the, the weather of Batu. And yeah. it's like yeah. hot and muggy. It, yeah, it's fucking hot <laughs> armpit out there. Well, Batu has he, three songs. Is there a smoking section out there? No. No. You if you want to sm- I found this out. Yeah. If you have to smoke at the Star Star Cruiser, you can't go to the outdoor area. You can't go to Batu. You have to go through the process of they launch you back to earth, back to the entrance yeah. at the beginning where you started and you have to leave and go across <laughs> the street and then you can smoke. Oh, and then Kevin, you that back. sucks for you. Yeah, oh, right. I know. <laughs> uh, Kevin and I, by the way, by the way, I forgot to tell you this. Kevin and I got to see stuff that n- n- people don't normally yeah. get to see yeah. because as soon as we got there, we got the whole introduction right. toward the ship. We'll take your bags. And then immediately, uh, oh, our ba- uh, the ba- yeah, the bags they said they would deliver aren't here. And we got a note from security. Uh, oh. You need to come see us. You oh. need to return to Earth. Oh. oh. So we... So it was like, well, what do you have to do? Well, there's security at the entrance of the hotel. Yeah, everybody has to go through a metal detector and right, stuff. Right, at right. the beginning, they're yeah. like, you got to go back to that. It was oh. like, how do we do that? And it was a whole in-character journey yeah. back. Oh, wow. They literally put us in an elevator, <laughs> and it was 
Da, 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 and it was the shuttle. We it has windows. The, yeah. The, yeah. The, the one that goes through there, it has windows. It's cool. <laughs> and it's oh, shuttling cool. us back to fucking Florida. Yeah. Da, 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 an eight minute fucking thing. Da, da. Oh my God. <laughs> and then there's security guards there. Okay, yeah, there was a knife in your bag. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Why is there 1,500 Tenga eggs in here? <laughs> <laughs> it was, I took yeah. I took a suitcase that we take to cons. Oh, and I thought, oh, it was a Leatherman. And I oh, thought I emptied it out, but nope, there were Leatherman uh, and fucking knives. And in the shit. slidey in the, in the pocket, pocket I never opened. So they were like, "Yeah, do you have a bunch of knives?" I was like, oh. "They were totally cool about it. They're just I'm like, sure. yeah, we're just gonna hold this until you leave. So don't worry about it." Like, damn. But then, uh, so then we got to launch back up to the hotel. <laughs> so, but the the, whole we got to see. We got to see that it, it was there were giant X-ray machines. So you could just put all your like big luggage through and yeah. stuff like that. We got to go in the behind the scenes area. Yeah, cool. that's crazy. They X. No, you don't get X-rayed or checked through security when you stay in a normal hotel no no or a cruise one, but no, this no, one uh, this is different though or this a is, cruise and you go into yeah. the theme park on this too and those do have security yeah so. yeah so yeah. i guess here oh, yeah, yeah yeah it yeah. bypasses you having to go through every day when yeah. you launched but, about two but exactly. also again this is a it's an intimate experience characters are coming up to you characters are again for their and, safety and kevin yeah. pointed this out yes. too is what really set this apart from everything else is how much they would like Come to you. Come to you and be close to you and like no, touch you. They, Again, they, they would you like, know, like, be like, okay, we need to talk about this. Oh, like oh. the captain will come up to you and she'll like touch your elbow as she's yeah. talking to you. You yeah. know that thing where you just. Oh, how they put you on the jungle kinda, cruise. And, and it's like, yeah, it kind of like that. Yeah. But it's like, oh, that makes it seem so much more real. Like yeah. how they're actually, they have like slight physical contact. That's with a little you trick. When they're, when they're talking to you. Get yeah. your attention. Yeah. yeah. And um, someone in the chat asked if they made the bunk beds in the rooms uh closer or or like a tighter whatever experience to prevent um sex from happening oh. that's not true it oh. it still worked <laughs> it still worked Whoa. Oh, okay the, um, how many of you were in a room together four well what, but plus the alien oh, oh yeah it was five the wow, robot five. was on screen too so Whoa. yeah the, the robot, robot oh, is, well you don't count robots jokingly droids. uh there was a there was a robot assistant in your room like oh like really? better siri oh. like a robot you would talk to and she would ask you questions like did you have a good day today uh yeah it was good oh good did you encounter so and so yeah oh they're scary aren't they i mean this robot would like talk with oh about the, the about the happenings yeah. of the day yeah and uh and i told them i like fell in love with this robot the oh. robot was so nice <laughs> uh -oh. and she was just like oh you're such a good adventurer and i was like yeah i am she's like oh you know it too Okay, da 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 da, and I would always say, uh, "Okay, bye, take it easy." I I would always say, "Goodbye, I love you." Oh, oh, oh you're so crazy. Anyway, goodbye. Oh and then on the last <laughs> night, what? I, she was like, "Oh, well, we've had such a good journey, and hasn't the adventure been ex exciting? Didn't you have fun with us?" And I said it again. I was yeah. like, "I did, and I love you." And then she went, oh, it's so weird to say that, but I love you too. Oh. Anyway, da, da, da. it was like, what the f It responded it. to that? Oh, you dude. just think you're saying stuff yeah. and it just, re but it it's replied over. to that, right? Oh. You, you were witness yeah, yeah. to this. Oh, hundred percent. I think we were filming that a lot. I don't know if we ever caught that one though. I it's can't over, remember. I, I think, I don't know if I have that on video. No, I have a bunch of other, like, I, oh I have like a her. video of you. It, it was, it was like better it's her. Like Blade Runner <laughs> There was a point where a stormtrooper comes and interrupts her thing yeah. and and she's like so what like what do you want to do i'm gonna fucking beat your ass <laughs> yeah and you said what do you do about the store trooper i'm gonna fucking beat his ass <laughs> what did she say she's like, i don't oh well it's a that's definitely it, a rowdy it, strategy the, but the, it'll the, work the computer system was really good at, at understanding you oh, now and cool. knowing what it was like, uh did was it a computer or yeah, was it uh, a person it was talking to completely you? Completely no, no. AI. Complete yeah. AI. It was so, it was just computer talking I, back to you. I had heard that this was that particular robot. I was just gonna say real oh, quick. Yeah, I yeah. had heard that that was a test for other stuff. Yeah. Ooh. That they said like they're they've been developing the system and they started trying it in the Star Cruiser. That's what I had heard. Okay. Prior to the thing. Well, did, it works. Did she it's go in your good. voice? It's so sexy, or did she not? <laughs> no. I mean, basically. That's basically. only in Japan. Basically. It's that. Uh, I was just going to say, like, this is all so complex and so intricate. This has to be designed by, like, a famous game design team. I would... I think uh, it was just Imagineering. You think this is done by the Imagineering team? That yeah. would make sense. I yeah, mean, they're yeah. at the top of their fucking game. It, it felt like the next 
step in Imagineering. It mm -hmm. felt like because AR immersive. game designers, are, you know, there's people out there that yeah, have yeah. a lot of experience developing like successful games. But they've been testing for years yeah. in like Frontierland and Disneyland. They had a game called uh, Heroes oh, of Frontierland or something, interesting. where there were people in the land going like, "Excuse me, partner, can you help me with something?" Okay, whatever. <laughs> and rumor has it that was all tests for their Star Wars. Project. Interesting. Okay. And what was unfortunate is that never came to be in the theme park. It never came to Galaxy's Edge, but it came to the Star Wars Hotel. Mm -hmm. So again, it's cool that we got to see all that, but it was behind this hugely expensive paywall and didn't yeah. survive. And that's and that's really, I mean, because all you're, you're saying this sounds cool. Yeah, yeah. It it's sounds cool, and it sounds like even like if you if it costs like what a cruise would cost mm -hmm. almost, mm -hmm. it would be like okay. But this is like I think well above what a cruise a if, normal cruise costs. If you packed a room full of people and they all split, split it. it I think it was way more because people there were so many numbers thrown out there that just sounded gnarly. If you had a bunch of people all uh -huh. paying and splitting it, I think it was totally doable. If it's you and yeah. like your kids, yeah, the kids aren't yeah. splitting. Anything. Good luck to you. I, yeah. I don't. Yeah. To me, that's like go travel anywhere in the world. That's really what I was thinking. Yeah. Like, I'll take my kids to Europe. At yeah, that yeah. Point. price. Yeah. You know, yeah. at that totally. price point. Yeah. yeah. Um. But anyway, regardless, regardless, it's it's a moot point because the thing is gone. But now, no. do you, why don't why can't they make it cheaper and just like it? It's just wild to me seeing all that and going. The, they didn't even. I, you would think they would try yeah. one more year. Yeah. And like, oh, here's a cheaper one. It's one day and it's whatever. And they didn't even. Yeah. You know, I don't know. Yeah. This seems to me like you spent so much money. Like, I don't know how much money they spent on this, yeah. on this whole experience. Thing, yeah. I'm imagining the hundreds lot. of millions of dollars. Yeah. I'm just guessing yeah. that like, yeah, find a way to make. I mean, when they first announced it and they announced the price, everyone's like, this is never going to work. Yeah. 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 And like they it knew it before. didn't work. Like it's like, yeah, we all yeah. knew yeah. maybe they can rework in the downtime and maybe they know yeah. this and they have a strategy and a plan yeah. because they've invested this much money. Yeah. There must be a backup plan. There's gotta be. But, but not only that, Sean, it, again, it was the bad PR of the price combined with, uh, I'll say it again. Every piece of media that came out of this thing looked dorky. Yeah. Yes. And if you're spending, you know, I don't know. I don't know exactly how much it costs. Let's say it's yeah. ten thousand dollars. You know, I think it was less than that. But let's say it's that. Then it's like, yeah, ten thousand dollars, and I look like that, like in a box truck, and I'm good. You know, like yeah, it, yeah, just, it just it was a series of unfortunate events. You're yeah. so immersed in there, but you can't you can't reflect that outside. Like you can't show how cool it is yeah. by just looking at it. Yeah. It's so it much hard. cooler being there, and than that's it the thing. Is seeing it because when you are gone, truthfully. Me, Johnny, and Garrett, and Derek were on Johnny's computer, like looking, like, what does this even look like? Because yeah. we had no idea. And we're watching some guy go through like the room, and it was the dorkiest thing. And the guy yeah. didn't help his cause. <laughs> it's <laughs> true. <laughs> it's true. But he's like, and this is the trash can. And as you can see, it's a, it's a, a nice, shiny mat. Ooh, and this yeah. is the toilet paper. I'm like, whoa. Like, well, I just want to see the room. That was Ryan in our room. Oh, oh no. yeah. He's in the chat. He yeah, heard Ryan, you. Ryan, um, Ryan was there. He also took the cruise and was just like, well, hello, fellow travelers. <laughs> let me tell you about the first order. And let me tell you. And it was like, dude, don't. He loves <laughs> Star Wars. Why yeah. is he talking oh, like that? That's he's crazy. like, hello. <laughs> hello. Let me, tell you, I have, I, let me tell you about the Jedi Order. And, you know, stop, dude. Don't. <laughs> you, you guys didn't it. catch up on Ahsoka Tano? Uh, season one while no. you were in space though? No, no. I, I barely looked at my phone. Okay. Yeah, That's I tried smart. Um, smart. I tried uh, to stay off the internet or anything during that. Sure. What, I, the irony is that I was more glued to my phone than ever in my life because, the of, because of their app. You were 24-7 going, D -d 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 oh yeah, this, this. But uh, I stayed off everything, which which ties into we'll get into in a little in a little bit, but uh. like all this, all these video game events happened while we were in there. So people were like, "I we got out of there," yeah. and I'm at Disney World. And people are like, "Oh, isn't that cool about uh, separate ways DLC coming to RE4, Resident like, Evil Four? I was like, "Awesome!" And then I was it. just at home yesterday, like, "Hey, Dominic, when does that come out?" It's out. Yeah, it's what? here. What I didn't know so until I'm, just now it's out. Kevin, I beat it. <laughs> Kevin, I stayed up late and I beat it. Whoa, you did? Yeah, wow. oh, nice. it was fucking awesome. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a little Wesker bit. Wesker is what, back. What were you? What, 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 sorry, I tremble. What you're gonna say though? I wasn't. Oh, I thought I 
travel buddy. No, but Ryan is freaking out in the chat saying he was cool on the Star Cruiser. And Ryan, <laughs> I wasn't there, but I find that hard Ryan, to believe. You know, we uh, got I don't, there. I don't buy it. Like, I greetings, don't buy greetings, fellow space travelers. <laughs> I, like, have, I have, I have, I uh, have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. Uh, he he helped a lot with the. Uh, he actually gu- yeah, guiding he did, us he did. to like. I'm joking. Hey, this no, is this is back. cool. Oh. This you should go try. Ryan to did his fucking research. Yes. Oh, he did. And to 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 be totally honest, he took a different approach from me. Again, we'll yeah. go into this on Creepy Old Crypt, yeah. but Kevin and I went with the approach of I'm going into this cold. Let's see what happens. Well, with a couple exceptions, there are a couple yeah. things I wanted to yeah. know. Ryan studied every facet oh. of it. Oh. And you know, there's pros and cons. Part, you know, there there were times where I was like, I'm just gonna soak this all in. Okay, great, cool. But at the same time, if I'm doing that, I'm missing yeah, something. Yeah, you're missing stuff. Whereas Ryan, was, day one was going, no, no, I, let me talk to this, oh, yeah, you gotta yeah. talk to this guy. Okay, well, <laughs> then on, on one half, you could be like, yo, Ryan, take a break. On the other half, he got to see all the shit before it closed right. that you wouldn't have yeah. got to had you not studied. They were, they were, you know what I mean? Here's a perfect example. Yeah. The gift shop has- Oh, this is awesome. Has, this pin, is awesome. Has secret pins oh. that oh. I had no idea about. Whoa. We just went to the gift shop and Ryan went up to somebody and went, hey, uh, I'm just looking for something that could you know, ignite the spark. And Which is like a, a, a resistance A, a resistance like uh, slang. Okay. And th- they go, okay, come here. And they pull of this like key. It looks like just a cylinder out of the, out of the drawer. Oh. And there they, was a counter. There's a counter where you make the transaction and stuff. And they pull that out and they walk over to this display case that's displaying a bunch of other stuff. They push it against this thing oh. and they open up this secret door that you didn't know was there. It just and open. They were a whole row of Disney pins that were secret like resistance pins okay. that look like just halcyon on the top, but you could flip something up or pull something up or do something and it had the resistance logo on it. Oh, and yeah, secret resistance and had no idea. And Ryan just like, yeah, if like immediately knew about that and helped us out because I got some pins. If, like, if Ryan wasn't there, I would have never got that. Yeah, like, exactly. like that, that. So that was what Ryan was like the mastermind of yes. the whole thing. Like he he studied every nook and cranny. Yeah. Um, now and when so, you uh, yeah, he, something, you paying your, how do you I mean like you don't have Star Wars oh, money. I, this is something I made fun of Ryan for because I I paid just tap like with the thing. You, with you, your they phone. call them credits, but I just paid with my phone and stuff like that. Ryan did only cash and I <laughs> and, 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 and I kept going like, who are these people on your credits? Like <laughs> your credits have these old men on them. Who, who, <laughs> who are these politicians? The, the actors kept up, saying that. No, no, I kept saying oh. that. And and it was just like, no, I want to be in character. That's I want to just so boop, funny. pay for something in, yeah. uh, just you, electronically. That's good. You could you could load up, you could load up a, uh, they had cards. Oh, yeah, it was a card, card that was a Halcyon uh, logo. It was yeah. so funny. They had, yeah, they had cards that were Halcyon logo, all branded, whatever, that were essentially gift cards. And I, but I wanted just a card. I was like, can I, if I get the card, can I use that like anywhere? Like, is it, is, is it what, what kind? Yeah. And they were like, and the, the woman at the counter was like, oh, I'm sure you could use it on any planet that you go to. And she kept holding up the card on the back of it. It just said Disney gift card. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it works on any planet that you travel to. <laughs> I was like, okay, so yeah, I got, I got gift cards. Just I would I like put like the minimum like yeah. ten bucks. On I, each I put one, the minimum on it, and, and then, then immediately use that yeah. in the gift shop, so that you just get to keep this cool card. Cool. Yeah. Uh, okay. yeah. So you could you could still play it in character, and on Galaxy's Edge, they sell a, sp- a thing called a Spira. That's a gold medallion that works like Apple Pay that you yeah. can load up. You can tap. So oh. if you want to be in character, I could have brought that mm-hmm. and Spira. just paid the whole time with that. Yeah, you know. So they got they had everything figured out. I like and Ryan's it, paying and, cash. I like yeah, that. it was yeah. it was funny. Like, <laughs> paying cash That's better. Let's bring it in. Who's Thomas Jefferson? Yeah, what Thomas Jefferson? What, what is the, he's what from, is the, from the Andrew Jackson? Yeah, who's the, from the Jackson system? <laughs> <laughs> now you guys pick names, right? Yes. And yes. Did you call each other by name throughout um, the weekend? It was weird because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, no, you didn't. So be, I, between us, not really. Like you'd be but, like a Kev. But they learned your name. The actors are really good at knowing your name. Okay. Because they will just refer to you by that name for the rest of the time. Sure. Like, oh. yeah, they actually remembered. Yeah. Yeah, there were points points where. Uh, so, what was your what was your name? Mine, Kevin I, and I were from a, with the same we're, system. We're, oh, we were oh, from the oh. uh, Kojita system. Kojita system, <laughs> and yeah. I was uh, Cal Barat. 
Cal Barat, and I was Bliato Sherm. Shut up. Yeah. No, Shut these up. were our actual names. And and they asked us that Bliato. right at the beginning. Yeah. And someone was like, oh, okay, Bli Bliato, Cal. Yeah. Okay. And later in the weekend, we would see we we saw like one of the one of the force the the, yeah, the yeah. what do they call the sages yeah the, the guys who were w trained in the force and stuff would come oh. by like hey 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 we've got a um, w there's something going on they found something Cal. can we get Cal yeah. can we get Cal over here get over here get over here yeah. it's like Bleato. what yeah because <laughs> if they scanned my thing it would just say Rocco yeah. these sure. are just things I'm saying so yeah the fact they remembered that yeah. was dude. Oh, that's sick, dude. You should tell Kotihas, like, yo, we got we're the biggest fanboys here. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been bean and cheese burrito. Local local Mexican <laughs> yeah. food place we named our characters after. The piece of tech I can't figure out mm -hmm. with this thing is how the they know you're talking to see, certain people because yeah. the app will tell you, thanks oh. for talking to me. I didn't beep anything. I was just near somebody yeah. talking to them. And then but, I'll get a message from them like, hey, good talk earlier. Uh, can, oh. I, can you do this? And it's like, yeah. Is there some sort of radius you need to be around them? Yeah. And it beeps, like it scans you in to their storyline? I, I think know. they do uh, because like when you when you wear your magic band and you go on like Small World yeah. at Disney World, at the end it'll say goodbye Rocco, goodbye yeah, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like whoa. It no you're you're within a certain range that it, it can read. So that. it was that thing you wear. I think it's that. I think it's, it's that. Like that your too. Wi-Fi chip or something. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a it's a reading a chip. Dude, so that's wild. Anyway, uh, sounds awesome. La I mean, last yes, it was so fun. Last thing with the gift shop, though, yeah, uh, okay. because it is closing. It was pretty hilarious because the hardest thing to get is like they had they made a lightsaber only for the, oh, the Star Cruiser, shit. and oh. and when that came out, it was like oh two per cabin. Like no matter how many people want it, really, we sell two per cabin. Two, that's it. Now it's like oh uh, they're discounted, and you buy as many as you want. Yeah, just yeah, please stay. And, stay and, and yes, <laughs> go ahead. The thing that was. <laughs> the big deal the whole weekend was, yeah, basically buy this or anything and we'll give you a shield. A shield? Uh, in the, uh, lights, in the lightsaber training, they have these like laser shields that yeah. if, you're, if your uh, friend misses a laser with their you lightsaber, can, you, can you can block, block it. Oh, okay. It's part of the whole training simulator. Sure. And it's, it's fucking it's prop. fun. Yeah. And yeah, it they had they had these and they were giving them away. These were like two hundred dollar giant things. Shut up. And they are like, no, just if you buy the thing, we give it to you. So you okay. have a shield. So, so you could buy yeah. a pin oh, that'll give you a shield. I think we've each got like I got three shields. Yeah. yeah. At least. <laughs> we got we got so many shields. What we have fuck? we we uh I, I shipped a bunch of they let you ship stuff home and I have multiple shields on the way this way. And I, one in my suitcase that I brought. Yeah. Nice. Dang. Yep. Did you, I, did you get the lightsaber? You got one of those? Yeah, I got I got one of the lightsabers. Yes. I, yes. I, our my friend Guy Selga, he did the Star Cruiser thing like a year ago, and okay. he got me one. Oh, and lightsaber. Blade? Yes, and oh. then I got more when I went this time because mm -hmm. I had friends who wanted. Hell yeah. It, so. Yeah. Pay it so, forward. There you go. Anyway, Dang. dude, that's Dang. cool. I, I yeah, I kept wanting to say you know again we're gonna we'll go into it more on our creepy old crypt episode, but we ended up going into it a lot here. So yeah, it, yeah, it but, is, well, it is what it is. But there's no way we weren't gonna talk about you're it. You're showing yeah. it on creepy you're old crypt. There. Yeah, that yeah. is a this yeah, is like this is just the warm up. If you want to yeah. see it, watch Rocco's creepy old crypt. And that and that uh, it's a conversation among the people who did it and are we're kind of sharing like our thoughts having just done it. So you're, you are know. are you in the costume and character still? Yes, no, I wore. The costume the entire time. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Are you talking about Creepy Old Crypt? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Creepy Old Crypt. Sorry. No, we are in our in our hotel room in the last hour yeah. of us being there, oh. d summing up the whole weekend. Yeah. Oh, okay. We're basically packed and just Ready. waiting for yeah. our cutoff shuttle. Yeah. To back to Earth, and yeah. Uh, yeah, we were just chilling in the room talking. Okay. okay. But and, yeah. but I've got lots of footage from throughout the weekend that I'm editing into it. Yeah, and, I think uh, people are, like I mean, I, I'll, I'll check that out. Yeah, yeah, I'll watch that, yeah. Uh, so last week, we were trying to come up with, like, what would our dream version of this be? Like, what IP yeah. that yeah. did this kind of experience would you be willing to pay that kind of money yeah. for Sean. And it was like, we could only kind of think of like for Sean and, and Brian, it would be like an MLB mm -hmm. experience. But even that, it's like, I mean, I guess. All-Star like, Day You're not in shit. character. Like, yeah. It's not like, it's not Cal, like, we need you on our team. Right, <laughs> exactly. No one can play left field like you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I don't know, like, yeah, of anything other than Star Wars that could even be possible because there is uh, so much like... Lore. I can tell you for, my, for me that I would... They they could charge any amount and I wouldn't even I would have to do it I would find a way more than beyond Star Wars for me it would be uh, the Matrix 
the Matrix oh, Hotel. Oh, you could do the where, Matrix. Where, yeah. where you, you leave your good. world behind. They unplug you. Like, it's really pleasant. You go to a nice hotel. It, like, they act like it's going to be a really nice hotel. And then you take a pill. And then everything goes black. And then you're on, like, the Nebuchadnezzar. And yeah. it's a weekend where they tell you how much the world is bullshit. <laughs> you're eating, like, slop. Yeah, <laughs> you're eating snot every meal. No, but seriously, like, you kind of eat shit for two days. You're, you're drinking. You're drinking and then when they greaser. jack you back in, it's like, was maybe is ignorance. It, how much am I going to take when I go back? to the real world like what am i going to accept how much of ignorance is bliss yeah right and then yeah and when you go back and what happens when you go back when it's over they give everyone sunglasses that would be with me done deal the chat said it and i think this is actually a great idea is lost like you're yeah, on yeah. A, an island, yeah. you live on the beach, yeah. and plane like crashed. Yeah, yeah. There. I, could, yeah. I could deal for two days. Oh, oh that'd be pretty oh, yeah. two days. I could totally, totally. Deal. You yeah. know, a, a week is hard, but, but two days. Like, uh, mangoes. But like, it's still like a cruise situation. Yeah, yeah. so you could have the unlimited Dharma bar over there, yeah. and it's just like all this Dharma like food. Yeah. But you can you can kind of break into camps. Like, hey, I'm gonna stay on the beach with the beach crew. Because stuff like that, ha stuff happens there that won't happen in the hatch. Whereas the people in the hatch are like, no, we've got like granola bars. We've got like yeah. cereal. Like, yeah. I'm not going to fuck around on the beach. And different stuff happens down there. Oh. You know, like you maybe you get more sci-fi down there where you have more like survival shit up there. This is a billion dollar opportunity. We're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, Eric Bedore definitely like teased my brain because I was trying to think like, what would my Resident Evil fantasy be? But yeah, yeah you're somehow transported, like he said, into the mansion. You, you, stay in you a have room. to solve puzzles yeah. to get to other rooms. Okay. It's an escape there's, room. There's zombies <laughs> and like somehow you could have a sidearm and you could like shoot the actors with airsoft. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing. <laughs> that's sick. That, that would be sick, sick Eric. But that's like an escape room situation that could exist. You don't need to spend a weekend in that. I want yeah. I want the whole spend the night and have because two days seems like you guys did three days in this. It's, it's two nights. Two, two nights. Yeah. Three, it seems three like days. a perfect like all encompassing. Yeah. Like you could really tell a story over a couple days. Yeah. It, there is something to be said about being in the story area and you sleep and wake up there. Yes. You know what I mean? Yes. That just adds a, it's a psychological weight to it where you wake up there like, oh, I'm like, I'm in this shit. Like, I'm not, you know what I mean? It's not just like, oh, wasn't it neat? We went to the thing and we came home. It was like, you, no, you know, you're when still you, there. When you're sleeping there. It's like, you know, I woke up in the middle of the night. Like, oh, um, you know, I couldn't go back. I woke up like kind of early, like four or five in the morning. Oh, like, wow. oh, I couldn't go back to sleep. And oh, let me and and my instinct is to go to the window and it's like, oh, it's, I'm just looking at like star systems go by. Oh, 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 <laughs> a TIE fighter just went by. I wonder if something's going on. You know, you know what I mean? Like it it doesn't even leave then, you know, and that's what kind of made it. Yeah, amazing. I guess. I mean, it is if it, 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 Star Trek Next Generation would be kind of yeah. Cool. Like, See, they like, could do oh, that. Yeah, you. Star cool. Trek. Uh, they. I feel like they approached that at that Vegas thing. That yeah, I had. went to that once mm -hmm. yeah. as a kid, but it, you know, it wasn't. Oh, it was the thing okay. where you could record the videotape. Of yeah, all you guys on I the did deck. that tape. That tape I, was, I wish I had that tape still. Remember that viral video of the the kids and their dad <laughs> fucking, fucking around, around? <laughs> and the mom's oh, yeah. taking it seriously. Yeah. <laughs> the whole family's like, yeah. While they're supposed to be doing the lines. Yeah. Um, that was great. But yeah, Star Trek could has earned so our back is to the big future. You go to different, get into the DeLorean, oh. go to different times. Can you imagine they changed it, the hotel where that you wake up the next day and it's not like, it's like Biff's oh, hotel. that'd be sick. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like oh like okay tomorrow you're gonna go back to your own time. Oh, like they tell you it's only one day and then you wake up the second day and it's like Something oh happened. no you fucked time yeah, who, who messed up time yesterday yeah. who who <laughs> fucked it up oh that'd be that great would be awesome <laughs> yeah, right? who fucked good. it up. And then Biff would come out on the balcony like, <laughs> all right, buttheads. Yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. oh my God, that'd be, that'd be great. awesome. Damn, dude. Damn. Damn. That would be so cool. Anyway, so yeah, look for this week for our Creepy Old Crypt episode mm -hmm. on the Star Cruiser. This is the last week of the Star Cruiser, so sending it off. And uh, it'll be an extra long episode. A little, well, we, we did like an hour at the place and then a little addendum afterwards. Yeah. But then there's footage from the the whole weekend in there so it, it'll be cool cool so keep an eye out for that very yeah. cool but i did want to talk about actually before i say anything else i better get get this oh, in yeah. there let's get to business everybody if you like what we do if you like watching our show you like mega 64 shop.mega64.com is the place to go to pick up all the best stuff and this friday we did a whole new spooky season merch drop 
Oh, yeah. It's oh, all it this pre yeah. it's all pre-Halloween stuff. It's only going to be up for a few days because we want to try to get these made before Halloween. Mm -hmm. We're going to try to get them through as fast as possible. So pick them up. It's it's some of our past iconic Halloween designs, but, they got but a, in a different makeover. forms. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Because some people were like, hey, I remember last year you did the summoning sweatshirt. That was cool, but I really wanted that on just on like a t-shirt. Well, here it is. Or um, the charm, uh, the bad luck charm artwork is on this awesome pullover hoodie with a logo on the front. And oh, it turned out awesome. Um, all these classic designs, terrifying designs, are back for one more one more shot. So don't miss out. Shop.mega64.com. Pick that stuff up. And patreon.com slash mega64, another great place for exclusive stuff. You're not going to get anywhere else. We got our movie club show. Yep. Um, that's been kicking off because we just did. Uh, we just recorded our episode on. Yeah, you know it. You love it. The Flash, the DC now Universe streaming. classic movie. Me and Sean watched it. You're gonna be. You're gonna be surprised. You're not gonna it. believe it. You're not gonna <laughs> believe what we yeah. say about it. It's I bet you love nuts. when the babies were in the microwave. That's so fucking okay. funny. Oh my god. I, I don't want to spoil yeah. it. I was uh, ruffling a little bit. Ruffling. But uh, well, I'll, I'll, I'll go into it more. I'll go into I'll wait more. and see. Okay. He's the fastest man alive. I'm the hardest laughing man alive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell you that. Yeah. So Ooh. that's on there. We got uh, exclusive behind the scenes stuff coming your way on there. So don't miss out. Record Club. Yeah. There. Record Club every Thursday yeah. has been up on there. Mm -hmm. um, there. There is so much stuff. It's it's just it's like five bucks a month to to watch it at the minimum and it's so worth it. So check that out. Uh, Patreon.com slash mega sixty four. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Um anyway, I did want to talk about video game shit though for a minute. Yeah. Oh, speaking of video game stuff, after after we went to the um uh after we got out of the Star Cruiser, <laughs> yeah, we got to go to the Magic Kingdom in Florida where they have it's all Tron stuff now. Yeah, which I hadn't been there since that opened. It was like I was back in 2010 because it was all Ultron. They're blasting the Daft That's, Punk music. Oh, yeah, Daft Punk, yeah. the, the new ride, they're, all that kind of stuff. Listen, I'm I'm Disneyland loyalist. Bring it back. I'm Disneyland loyal, but they're Tomorrowland. I'm sorry. It mops the floor with our... When I'm going to the Carousel of Progress, they got it, the original. Wow. And And next to that, they're blasting the Daft Punk music because there's a Tron thing. I'm like, yeah, they win. They won. I, my, yeah. One of my favorite memories ever is being at that Tron thing with Tommy Tallarico. The yeah. And he's yeah. losing his mind. And he's yells, I'm in the world of Tron. He's like <laughs> yeah. so excited. That, that nighttime yeah. thing was cool. Was yeah. Sick. They need yeah. to bring that back. Electronica. Yeah. But anyway, you can make your own Tron <laughs> action figure. Oh, holy you go, the arcade you get cabinet. scanned into a booth and they give you. How awesome is the presentation? Yeah, yeah I didn't realize machine. that's the arcade cabinet. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you could customize the figure, the head, all that stuff. Oh, oh, oh. So I got my own custom head. Check it out. They had like a Daft Punk style head Ooh, to that. That is cool. There, is wow. there, there's, they're not a close-up. Yeah, I can get a close-up hey, Put up it up by this. the bear. Yeah, just put it over by the bear. <laughs> put it by Hold the it bear. back. Can you see that? Hold oh, it back down. there. Oh, okay. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. We got it. Check, check this out. Wait, wait. Hit it. Check this out. Wait. Check wait, this out. Wait, Come check this. Wait. Oh my God, oh. that's you. <laughs> what do you say? Wait. Wait. Unidentified users detected. <laughs> that's you, dude. Yeah. Wait, I got more. I fight for the users. Wait. Oh. Unidentified users detected. Same shit. Uh. Sorry. One more. Greetings, user. Oh my God. Anyway. Did did, <laughs> there, did is, you record the voice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there and no? You can see, that's my that's my face. That is your face. Now there no. Wow. So you like bikes, huh? Like, they you could only say uh, certain lines. Oh, oh they didn't like. Yeah, to, they lock you into. You get to pick six out of like whatever. 10 because they yeah, have. if it was like so, you like bikes. Yeah. I mean, that would be. A, I think that's that's an easy. Yeah, that's like a gimme. Bikes, but you're locked huh? into what they. You can't say. You can't wing it. Oh, Damn. those fuckers, they get you. I mean, that may, yeah. I guess you could say some fucked up they, stuff. You could say some fucked up stuff. But, but that's a like line bikes. from the movie. You should approve <laughs> it's so based funny on each case. That's not from the movie at all. I don't know why that was in <laughs> that's that in one the movie. figure. That's in the movie. It's from McDonald's. It's like not. Bikes. I know, but that's from McDonald's. I know. I tried wow. to say some McDonald's stuff, but they wouldn't do it. <laughs> they wouldn't. Yeah. They, they're haters. That's cool. That's cool. Um, haters. But anyway, uh, that's anyway. yeah. So we, we did Disney World and all kinds of stuff. Yeah. We got back. But anyway, yeah, when I got back, I found out the Separate Ways DLC had come out. Shit, I didn't know that. I got yeah, I didn't know. That. I was cooking the biscuits, and I'm like, I can't wait to play that when it comes out. It, bro, it came out. <gasps> what? Uh, what? You got to play it. So let me, I just want to say real quick. Yeah. This thing is 10 bucks. Tell me. Came out out of nowhere, and it was... Uh, 
for dude for 10 bucks this was the best dlc really it was so much fun i'm impressed because all the shit people said oh they left this out they left that out they omitted this in resident evil remake all of that showed up in the like like a ton of it is in in here Yeah, Yeah. yeah yeah uh in in a way that it you know the things that were omitted from the main game it made sense it was like okay sure. yeah that's why they didn't do it but then they made it make sense in this it it, it made more sense being oh, cool. in this so uh yeah it was it was really cool um i really recommend it and in a way this is kind of a i guess, I'm not trying to make it negative but it made the village dlc look worse hmm. yeah i just oh. i just felt like we waited like a year for that and it was like eh, it's okay yeah what, what what was the village Ro- DLC? Rose, Ro- DLC. rose dlc oh, oh yeah that you go, that, you go yeah, back yeah, to like yeah, areas that was cool you go, you go back and she's like psychically trying to do stuff yeah. to the rooms you already went to this came out of nowhere oh by the way it's out and it's 10 bucks and it was action packed and it was amazing it was mm. so cool um but uh yeah anyway it was yeah. it was awesome wesker's back i'm seeing yes dude and I, he was not in the original resident evil 4 Ada I, just I worked thought, for i thought a, he was a, in the separate way stuff he was he did show up yeah okay i couldn't remember that wasn't wasn't he in the ending though of the game like she's talking to him at the end or am i crazy i think so i remember him i knew she was though, maybe like one yeah maybe like a voice over her radio or something but i didn't know yeah. you actually saw him but yeah. all obviously he was always in the mercenaries yeah yeah, yeah. and he's back now dude With, i've been oh, that so busy movie. that oh. i was like i i saw something about resident Evil 4 and i was like oh shit like i when does that game come out? Like the the, the actual game. <laughs> so I'm like Googling it. I'm like, when does it come out? And it should be like a, I forget what it was, but like used, well in the past. A used I was like, copy. <laughs> why didn't I buy that? And I look up and it's on my shelf. Like, I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, I've been there. So I haven't, I haven't played it yet. I just found out I bought it. I don't, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how this happened. RE4 remake. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember you be on here telling me like, I just don't know when I'm going to play it. Well, guess that is correct. Now, I still, I, I still well, now, now it was start. it was awesome. Uh, no one, no, I'm going to play it. I'm yeah. play no it. one was more skeptical of like, why do we need a remake of this than yeah. me? And it was so yeah, it much was so fun. good. It was so much fun. They did a great job. Mm. Uh, but yeah, the the DLC was great. Um, yeah, I don't know what, even know what else to say about it. It was like a perfect little addendum. It was a whole new wing of the great. game. I'm going to play up. that as soon as I can. It was only ten bucks. Yeah, it I gotta, was. I gotta it was a steal the game first, but yeah. 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 Um, I will say that I did, and this is a preview, preview for a friend dimension. I bought Mortal Kombat on Switch. I have to know. Oh, I have no. to see wow. what it looks like. Okay. I got to yeah. know. So at some point, we will put up a friend dimension of us playing yeah, we do this that. <laughs> shitty fucking version. Yeah. So yeah, sub to our Patreon. But yeah. Okay. It's. I mean... <laughs> Because I think, how bad could it be? But I'm really curious. I have to fucking know. I have to know. So we're going to try. I kept hearing that uh, Megan Fox. Oh, I have another Megan Fox thing to bring up in a second. But Megan Fox did a voice in this new Mortal Kombat. Yeah. But then, like, she didn't do yelling or any of the battle effects. Oh, she didn't do effects? So second actress did that. Oh, that's that's stupid. Yeah. Everyone said like she phoned it in completely. Like she says some lines and then someone else filled in the rest or something. Really? Yeah. You always get a round of efforts after you do all the voice lines. That's yeah. like standard. That's common. So Even lo- I know that. A lot of what people were hell? just like, damn, what was the point of that? Uh, but speaking of Megan Fox, I just want to bring this up. Okay. Uh, Garrett and I continued a long standing tradition. Of almost two decades at this point. What? Yeah. It's hard what to believe. Crazy to think do? about. What? I I think the first one was in, in like 2006 or something. Yeah. Seven? Probably. So maybe 16, 17 years. Garrett and I have seen every new Expendables movie in theaters. Together? <laughs> yeah. Together. How cute is this? Every <laughs> one of them. Wow. And we like the tradition uh, continued this weekend. You saw the last one. We saw huh? Expendables 4. And yes. It's, 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 what's that? Oh, it's uh, it's the, great. The four is like the E in Expendables or something. Okay. Expend for bulls. Expend for bulls. <laughs> or something. Mm. Uh, and uh, it's funny what because I, I was like, "Wow, this theater's empty." Yeah. But Garrett, I remember thinking that in the third one and going, <laughs> "Damn." And then uh. I think the second one, there weren't that many people. Yeah. And every time one of these new movies comes out, I make a big effort to go. 
I, I want to go. And then Garrett, do you want to go? Yeah, let's go. Okay, great. And then we go. And then I have no one to talk about it with. Couldn't get us. anyone else. On because board, no yeah. one else goes to see him. And then they make another one. No one else was interested. Well, I had a feeling now when we were sitting around, I Googled in, in the credits. Is yeah. there a post credit scene? Oh. <gasps> No post credit scene in oh. Expendables 4. That's a bad sign for Expendables 5. Uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, I don't think there's much room for more in the franchise. <laughs> um what was what was killing me was it felt like each one tried to amp it up more like dude, the first one we got these guys. Yeah. Second one, look, Arnold's like in it more. Look, we got Chuck Norris this time. Look, we got, and then so the third funny. one, oh, we got Harrison Ford. He showed up. Ronda yeah, Rousey. Yeah, and they tried to expand it more. This this one, it felt like, ah, fuck, yeah, fuck. Yeah, it. who we got left? Well, yeah, 50 Cent's once in. Yeah, half the cast is gone, uh -huh. and it's like, well, we got, you know, Megan Fox. That's kind of never had a woman in the group. Yeah. Well, Ronda Rousey she's was there. in the group. Yeah, she's she there. wasn't, but, but the, the third movie was, half of it was getting, new like new recruits okay uh -huh. we got to get some fucking new recruits and kelsey grammer helps them <laughs> round up new recruits that's the whole fucking movie and then they beat up mel gibson that's yeah it. <laughs> mel. so this one felt like almost like a direct-to-video movie yeah okay. and yet i still enjoyed it more than the third i one. feel like oh. it was jason statham's big yes you know he time took, to shine he took over okay he, he definitely took over yeah this this feature uh, yeah. but i like him you know i like the meg he was great. I like the Meg too. He's never been in something where he wasn't. You know, no. it's like you know what you're getting with that. That's guy. how I imagine Sean. Like my, like my, you know, go to celebrity lookalike for Sean is Jason Statham. Oh, really? I just think of you as like a tough kind of. He Statham, did kind of look like Sean. Statham like guy. Yeah. When you guys have the hats, you know, no hats. What? Yeah. yeah. This is Jason. Really? Jason yeah. What? And oh, now wow. totally Thank like you. Totally Oi. British accent. Oi. I love Whoa. Oi. Hey, oh. Megan Fox, shut your trap. Hey, you've been yelling not, too much. Hey, Put a fucking yell, bra on. You've been yelling too much. I can see your nipples in every fucking scene of this film. <laughs> Put your fucking so, bra back oh, on. So that's what I was going to say. Something that I think no one has pointed out. Um, when the first, Because no one cares about Expendables. <laughs> but the first Expendables, if everyone remembers, it came out, oh, it's going to be PG-13. And everyone was like, what? You can't fucking do that. These are all like R-rated... Like, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Stallone. And yeah, all that. Yeah, yeah. So then last minute, oh, never mind. It's going to be rated R. And it they added like all this gore in like After Effects. I don't oh. even remember that. Yeah, it was they like were CG like, they would stab blood. someone and their head would fly off and like <laughs> stuff like that. So then the second one, it came out. If anyone remembers, oh, it's this one's going to be PG-13. And everyone threw a fit again. Oh, because Chuck Norris, he wants it to be family friendly. Oh, that fuck. But then last minute, all right, fine. It's rated R. So it was rated R. Had the gore. Then the third movie, they made it PG-13, and it stuck. It never, and so it was not gory, not, they didn't curse, whatever. They hardly killed. And it was the lowest grossing one uh, by and, far. And the Fox. So guess what? So this fourth one really is the first one where it felt like, it was R-rated from the beginning. Out yeah, the gate. Yeah. So they're vulgar. They're talking about like, yo, the, <laughs> yo my girl did golden showers. Yo, oh, they yeah. did. Yo, you know, saying uh, this? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, there's some cringy shit. I never said golden showers anymore. I, yeah, I said, I'd like, yeah, I definitely could use a shower, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is a little this too golden cool. for me. Dude. Uh, yeah, 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 I just I want know. the normal one. It's this R. Kelly stuff. I don't know. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah. So uh, this one, I felt like w they were saying fuck every other word. Yeah, there was a lot of fucks. Uh, the dude from the raid is like stabbing people in the throat. I mean, it was like, there's like a body. R rated from the beginning. There, there's like a, a plane crash and they show the body and it's like yeah. a fucking wet, drippy skeleton, uh, uh, yeah. charred barbecue yeah. man. And it's just like, whoa, <laughs> and then they, crazy. And then, they, and then they take the arm from the corpse and put it on display in their bar. <laughs> like, oh, remember that? Yeah. yeah. Wait, who's Bro, the there's a, the arm of a dead body is just loose mm. in, in a food. <laughs> the, like they're serving fucking wings right there. Yeah, like, call the fucking like, food oh, you Remember we got, we yeah. took this guy out. Dude, it started they, to stink. Uh, who, who ordered the corn dog bites? <laughs> I mean, it was dumb. It was fucking stupid, but I had a good time. There's a lot of I'm, banter between Jason Statham and Sly, just, yeah. you know, like, hey, your mother. <laughs> What, what do you say about my mother? What, what the it? fuck you say uh, about you my mother? I've said a thing before. <laughs> hey, you have. Uh, all right. There was like, I, got, there, I can't stop moving. There'd be jokes that didn't go anywhere, and then characters would look at each other and be like, <laughs> 
Okay. It was you like really, awkward really, pauses yeah, in the movie. Yeah, totally. Right? right? Yeah, like they, they'd say something that wasn't funny. You really are a stupid motherfucker. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, okay, I guess that made it funny. That's writing, I guess, that constitutes yeah. style. The, the, uh, the one, uh, 50 Cent... 50 Cent was wasted in it, except <laughs> out of nowhere at one point in the movie, they need to play some music to distract some people. They just play pimp. They play, <laughs> play sure, IMP. Dude. Hey, I don't know what you heard about what me. It's fuck? like, is that why you brought him here? Because of his because of his catalog? They got a cheap, uh, you know, discount. Yeah. They, they did. They probably, they gave probably it to figured him. it'd be cheaper to get him in the movie and he'll give us a Seriously. song than to get Yo, the song. Give him a roll yeah. and he'll give us a discount. Yeah. But, but I'm telling you, when he's running around, he's with all these mercenary dudes he's gunning people down i'm like this is what i want give me more of blood in the sand yeah i was hoping you'd be like i need my fucking skull you yeah. know I'm like where is it <laughs> you know but he didn't do that give it to me uh anyway so had a great time i'm in for five garrett, garrett Sounds I like no one else my fingers i hope nah, that if they be, make it i'll be there they will do it if you build it i will hey, come there was no way they were gonna make four and here we are yeah. so i'm excited so we'll see where it goes Who's gonna Kelsey Grammer didn't come back in this one, Sean? He was so. building, he's filming the new Frasier. No, yeah, Arnold. He, should've, he should've stopped. For, I'm gonna watch that hey. new Frasier. I do not have a good feeling about it. Oh, really? I Th do it looks not. like Frasier was expensive. You know what? Let me tell you, he's back in Boston. Okay, so okay. is it gonna be cheaters stuff? Yeah, maybe. Oh, no. that I guarantee you that's why. Yeah. Yeah, they're oh, gonna yeah. Rope, they're gonna rope cheers cheers shit in there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah. but no David Hyde Pierce. Yeah, that's no oh, Daphne, really? no yep. oh, Roz. Like well, why are they the not? Dog. In it? Because they're fucking they're, done. They're back in Seattle. I don't know. I I honestly don't know the whole story, but I do know that like I don't think he's great to work with. Kelsey? Yeah. Yeah. Go figure. And I saw so, him at Disneyland and he, uh, when he was and he seemed like a real bitch. And like <laughs> I know that when uh I don't remember their actual names, so forgive me. But when uh, Daphne in real life had a baby, uh, the godparents were Martin, Phaedra's dad, and Niles. But Kelsey Grammer had nothing to do with any of this. Because David Hyde Pierce, you know, it's like... I don't he's know, a dick. He's, I think he's a dick. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I heard that. So, but this... The thing that I saw, it's like, oh, he's... Now, he's the dad living with his son, Frederick, which is not the same Frederick. You can't fool me. Yeah. And Frederick, you're not going to believe this, he's like Martin, and he likes sports and beer. Oh, and it's like ah. raised him? But how does Fraser fit in this... Is thing. Lilith in it? Yeah, this sounds I weird. I think Lilith is going to have a couple. Because she's the mother? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and Frederick. Lil, Lil, we got Adam Lilith. is in it. We got Lilith. Um, what about the dog? Ted Dance is definitely showing uh, up at Eddie some point. Yeah. Is Eddie dead? dead? Is the dad dead? Eddie's dead. He, can, he did die in real life. That was a, such a bummer. That one oh. got me. But anyway, so I don't know. I don't think I'm going to. Am I going to watch it? I don't know. They, I don't know. Apparently, they did some kind of press thing with him recently where they asked him, like, all these people aren't in the show and it's in Boston now. What are we supposed to do? Get out of that. And he said, well, you know, if you wanted to bring your own interpreter. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and he fell off the stage oh, and he's like, oh, I'm sorry about my language. Uh, yeah. I, that, that, was a, that was a shame. He scared me just now. You know, I, all I remember uh, seeing the last thing I saw of Kelsey Grammer was like on that Real Housewives show. Oh, yeah. He was married to one of them. Yeah. And, and then, uh, he was like backstage doing a play. And she's coming backstage to congratulate him and like, you know, on a performance well done or whatever. And like, even with the fucking Bravo network cameras, cameras. rolling, he can't be cordial with her. He's like, yeah, uh -huh. you could tell he's annoyed with her yeah. in his green room. And he's like, get out of here kind of thing. Do you think he's bummed out that they canceled Gary the Rat so fast? Probably. I, Does anyone remember Gary no, the Rat? No, I don't. It's a good uh, paycheck. Spike TV had this awesome cartoon block in, in the early 2000s that was... The Ren and Stimpy reboot, which was a, a legendary disaster. Yep. Um, it's too horny. Uh, Stripperella <laughs> and Gary the Rat. So check out, everyone look up Gary the Rat. Check out, yeah. I think all the episodes are on YouTube. No one's claimed them because no one wants to take credit. Yeah. I'm a queer duck guy. Queer duck. Now that's good. Yeah. That was on, uh, but that wasn't uh, Spike TV. That was, uh, I don't know, Icebox or flash <laughs> shockwave.com or something like that it was the us network stripperella was had a lot of uh i think there were batman people that worked on that really that wasn't uh, bad oh stripperella yeah. was good i think maybe i was at the right age for that mm. i'm into el super bisto yeah oh yeah super. el super bisto <laughs> personally and i'm yeah. into crapopolis oh, <laughs> can, we get a, like. uh, can we get a crapopolis update johnny is there any info coming in on the uh, crapopolis premiere what's the ticker saying <laughs> 
Okay, Johnny is looking into. He's looking into. I, I think, I think he's, he's, looking he's into it. having chat. GPT he's seen how much search. the NFTs are going for currently. I don't think we talked about it. They're probably higher <laughs> now <laughs> than they were. Sean NFTs at an all-time high. No, you, those are still worth something. Yeah, if you have a Sean NFT, that is again that's physical. So that only going is up better. That's only be- going that's up. That's like artwork. Uh, this, uh, Johnny, any news? Order calls it bland. Uh, bland. Oh. A- atypically bland. Ooh. I so an unusual type of bland. Oh. So that could be good. God damn it. I had, lot, I had a lot of money right on that one. Yeah, because we all bought NFTs uh, of that. So it needs to be good. Yeah, I, I yeah. my my wallet, crypto wallet is full of Crapopolis <laughs> NFTs. It's, it's bursting full of them. <laughs> bursting. I, I love a show that tells you it's bad before it is on. Yeah, it's Crapopolis. I oh, I really want to get in on that. Have you yes. checked out Crapopolis? Oh, uh, yeah. Have you? Uh, no, I'm watching. It's I'm so watching funny. dumb bullshit. It's so funny. Oh, I, oh. I just started watching a waste of fucking time. <laughs> yeah, I, I heard it's good. They have NFTs for it. I've been watching uh, time uh, vampire fucking time suck. <laughs> I yeah, the fourth season of You're Planet into that? Piss. Yeah. Oh yeah. You Planet Piss sounds cool. Crapopolis. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch my balls. Yeah. Fourth Let's season. watch that. Hey, um, is there, are they making a new season of Brad Neely's Harg Nolan oh. Sclopio Pipio? I, I hope. I hope. Oh. I hope. I hope get, Bobo, 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 Bobo comes Bobo, back. Bobo, 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 Bobo. Yeah, you know, there's some, there's some names. I just hear it, and I'm like, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, I'm Take never care. watching that shit. Take care. Yeah, I think of that. I think, oh, you're too funny for me. Yeah. I'm I wouldn't fucking get out. I wouldn't get it personally. I'm watching. Uh, you guys have got to subscribe to AMC+. Plus. I'm watching this new sh- show, uh, Suck Me Off, Take a Shit, and Go to Bed. <laughs> It's wow. really it sounds like my great. night. <laughs> sounds I'm great. reading more about this Crapopolis show, and apparently the characters like will bring up how jokes are bad in the show. So like we're getting to like a meta, oh, we're breaking, a super we're meta level. Oh, it's okay if the jokes are bad. Just say they're bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually kind of genius. Like uh, we should do that in our stuff. Hey guys, uh, you know jokes are bad. Hey guys, bad haunted joke. we was a mistake. Haunted we. Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Remember that one? Anyway, take care. Yeah, have a good night. I think that's kind of neat. That's what Larry the Camel guy would do. He would just like if nobody laughs at a joke, he's like, ah, that's funny right there. And it's like, no, it wasn't it wasn't funny? Yeah, uh, like, that's funny, that's funny right there. To just tell you when to laugh. Like, that's <laughs> that's funny I'm right for. there. That's why I add a laugh track to the PPS because you should. Yeah, you just my confidence. I think levels. that's a good idea. You know, what show didn't have a laugh track because they tell you every single episode. Cheers. Uh, it's, it's always. Hey, cheers to the film in front of a live studio audience. That was my uh, Cliff Clavin. Impression. That was oh. pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty good. What character? Who was that? Cliff oh, the Cliff. Mailman. Oh, the Mailman. Oh, 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 yeah. oh Cliff. Oh, cl- ah. I can do it. John I can do a better. John Lasseter. I can do John a better John Lasseter than that. Not Lass- Ratzenberger. Uh. Oh, John Lasseter. Oh, no. Not, I'm not doing John Lass- Lasseter. Lasseter. Don't do a John Lasseter. Uh, yeah. No, I'm not. <laughs> or a Justin Roiland. Or apparently. <laughs> Is he the good one? Fucking. Yeah, He's the nice one. <laughs> oh, I tell thought I was being Carla. Fuck the Red and Stimpy guy though. He's good, right? No, okay. no. Oh, no. We Son gotta, of a. We got to end this. Good night, end folks. This. Hey, yeah. Can I can I bring up a couple things before we wrap it up? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about two two things. I'm gonna bring up real quick, R- real fast. Ser- serious things, real quick before we wrap up. Okay. A couple things I just want to bring up real fast, real quick. Okay. This is going to be a quick I'm going to pee my pants. <laughs> you have to got it. I have to pee so bad. Oh, I didn't know that's what was happening. I, we're go, 40 Sean. minutes past, and I was like, I can hold well, it. I'll mention my urination on the, the podcast, show. but I can't. That's go why ahead. I peed, dude. I got a cup right here. <gasps> go fill ahead. her up. I want to bring up a couple I'm things. I'm going to fill that fucker up. That one. Cup, that cup is not going to do. One, um, I just want to bring up, uh, we've updated everyone on Twitter about it, but... Um, there are still obviously people waiting for their uh, pre-orders on the, our time uh, to take a long, hard look Blu-ray. We've kept people up updated on Twitter, but a lot of people don't see it. Um, I mean, if you want more regular updates on just anything, we do stay updated on things on on Twitter pretty often. But So I would always recommend following us on there, but I haven't said anything on here in a while, but uh, we are, <laughs> really like feel terrible because these have been done but they are just not here. We, they were not delivered here. They are done. They're just somewhere else. And we're trying to get them here. And 
Every day I wake up with like extreme anxiety about this. And it's been a nightmare yep. of a year. This whole year, is, <laughs> this DVD is my year. And I think about it every day. I'm like, we got this fucking yeah. Blu-ray out. We gotta get this Blu-ray out. It's done. Because there's more in the pipeline. I want, like, I will, f oh, it's been. It's yeah, time. so we're we're working on it. Yes. Um, but it's not a, a thing of like, oh, we forgot to work on that this week. Oh, we're so busy. Has nothing. To, we are ready to drop everything the moment we have them and get them to you guys. Yeah. Uh, obviously, if you've gotten um, physical media from us like this, this is kind of thing has never happened before. Where um, typically with like Blu-rays and stuff, the turnaround's pretty good. Um, we had two releases like last year, and it was. Smooth sailing, but great. this one is just, we can't get it here. Um, and so we're working on that, uh, trying to work it out now. Um, yeah, same with unboxing ring Blu-ray, same kind of thing. Um, whenever we get this resolved, unboxing ring should be not far behind that. Um, and uh, so just want to give everyone an update that we haven't forgotten. And I'm really, really sorry. Like you, you really don't know how much we agonize over yes. it every day here. Um, it hasn't been forgotten. It's brought up every day. Imagine, imagine the entirety of your year, every single day, <laughs> having to talk about that. You know, like that's that's where it's been for us. Mm -hmm. Is just like, is there any update on that? No, not right now. Let's let's you know. Um, and and to a point, to a point, it was on me because originally it got delayed because of how I, I had kind of messed up how they were encoded or whatever. I don't even need to go into it, but. Right now, it's not that. It's, yeah, they're sitting it's there just done. sitting somewhere else done. So we'll let everyone know about that as soon as we can. And thank you so much for your patience. We mm -hmm. really, really yeah. appreciate it from you guys. We are sorry. Yes. We are sorry. And it, we are, I swear to God, it is brought up daily. Daily. And we would yeah. love to stop bringing it up because every <laughs> yeah. fucking yeah. meeting starts with And, that and we want to put out, we, want, we have like some more releases coming up that we want to put out, but we don't want to, you know, we want to like get this figured out yeah. so this never yeah. happens again. Yep. And and uh, so that's also part of what we're doing is making sure it won't. So anyway, so thank you everybody for, like I said, just being patient with us. And um, anyway, so that, and then uh, the other thing I want to bring up just real fast was something I keep getting asked about at every, I think it was the whole tour, just about every show this came up. So I guess I'll just bring it up now is, uh, Mega 64 game days, um, which was, you know, we were doing this event every year, uh, our own kind of mini convention and then going to Disneyland, but we haven't done it in four years and there's not really any other update on that. It kind of ended there. And then, um, but it's funny because I have, sometimes I'm asked about it where it's just like, Hey, do you think that'll come back? Which I think is a perfectly good mm -hmm. question. Of course. And then every now and then I'll get like, kind of like, People were getting kind of angry with me too, like over the tour. It's like you haven't told anyone what's going on with game days. I was like, I, uh, I, I, that's you. You have as much info as I do. That it, like we we had to end it. Um, and uh, it's not like there's any. Um, really, it was kind of like we pivoted into doing our tour, and uh, that has been like super awesome. Um, and we're continuing to do that. Sure. Um, that's really it. We just, uh, it, it, you know, it's a different landscape than it was when we left off doing that. Um, the parks function different, but also just everything is different. So, um, that's it. There's no update on that. I just wanted it because we hadn't said anything about it. I just wanted to say something now. We, th there aren't any plans. We ended it in 2019 and not we, saying it can't happen again no, someday. True. I think it would be. I think it would be fun to do that again. But, I think it but, was also hard because, like, we didn't end it on our terms. It was like, see you pandemic, next year. Yeah. yeah, and then it was COVID, and then yeah. everything's been different since. So it's like, well, no one knew. We didn't say like this was going to be it. You know, we didn't. We didn't know. Yeah. And now that we're obviously. back to we're back to a new normal, and our work schedules have vastly changed in four years. Like what we occupy our time with production wise and. The conventions we go to, the tour is a whole new avenue yeah, for us. Yeah, I kind of feel like I mean, we we haven't even ever had a conversation like this, so we're kind of just talking exactly. Uh, you know, for the first time. So about it, much, but, so but, much is different though. Yeah, from where we are, it's not just like, oh yeah, we'll we'll uh, let's have it. It's back on. You yeah, know? yeah. We we ended it in twenty twenty. Kind of starting from to scratch, do. and then one <laughs> yeah, in twenty twenty it was impossible to do, and then once things were opening back up, 
our touring group kind of reached out to us just like, yeah. hey, have you, you've never done a live tour before. Would you want to do that? So we focused on that, and that's kind of just what we've been doing. Um, like I said, it's not impossible to do that again, but um, that we just it hasn't been in our yeah it hasn't been in our everything has changed so much and we it just hasn't come up yeah. really. So, uh, but that's that's where it's at. So there's no plans, but not impossible that we could do it someday. And mm. by all means, let us know you want to see it. That's always good. Yeah, I just feel like people are saying to like we didn't end it. It's not ended it's just it, the the system changed so drastically that it was like well we can't do a game days if like people can't be guaranteed entrance into the park or like you know, it's, yeah, it's a whole yeah. other thing well we that that was the story definitely for like a year or so i don't th really think you have to worry about that now it's sure. like you you have to say what day you're going but it's not like hard to get that but yeah, sure but for a year it was and 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 the rules kept changing and uh that's why there wasn't it you know it, it wouldn't be impossible to do it now, but you know we're doing our tour the rest of the year, so that's not happening then. So right. you know, again, it's just kind of like that got really that really fell into like, yeah, you know, that it just kind of wasn't part of the plan anymore. Um, so yeah, no one here ever said like, well, we'll never do that again. That's never come yeah. up. Um, but that was that was just kind of it. So I just wanted to tell everybody, like I said, it was it was very weird, like. I had a few like kind of angry interactions on tour where it was like, like shame on you. You haven't told anyone what's going on with game days. I was like, <laughs> well, this really makes me want to do it. Like now that you're mad. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, but, um, but most people were, were, um, were just like, Hey, I really love doing that. Where anything happened with that? Like what's going on with right. that? Yeah. It always um, surprises me how often I get asked at conventions yeah. or, mm -hmm. you know, just, you know, in general, uh, just out with, you know, uh, the fan base at yeah, live yeah. shows and stuff like that. Yeah. There was a lot of desire uh, to keep having game days, which yeah. it's it's good to hear that the interest yeah. is still there. Yeah. I mean, we were again, we were asked that like you guys maybe back me up. I don't know if I'm exaggerating here. But I feel like we were asked at just about every show. Yeah. Oh, like, totally. Hey, hey, what's what's the deal with game yeah. days? It was yep. like, oh, OK, so. I that's think it was that's people it. That came. I think yeah. it was people that uh, because a, a lot of the you know uh, people that came out to the live show probably attended game days and had a blast and they're dying yeah. to come back. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, or people that have FOMO never got to go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I yeah. I I mean, you know me. If it's a shit at a theme park, I definitely want to go. So yes. I would love to do it again. But um, like I said, just because everything in the world changed, and then even our, the, the things we do are not the same as they were then it just has never yeah. been uh, a factor again so maybe it can happen again someday but it's just not in our current plans yeah yeah yep yep i must say one more thing with the blu-rays yeah everything else is ready we have yeah. the mailing stuff we have the cards. Yep. Yeah, we, have, we, we signed we the photos signed the that are photos supposed to go with that's them. Supposed yeah. to go. Everything's ready Everything to be slipped in, in a mailbox. It is sitting right. in a room not far from us. The second, the second we have these fucking things, it is going to be like, drop everything, get these fuckers <laughs> out. Yeah. So like, yeah. All hands I'm on telling you, we are locked and loaded. Yeah. We have been ready for months, so we are that, ready. Yeah. That's not the case with the unboxing ring Blu-ray, though. That thing's a mess. Tyler fucked that whole thing Tyler. up. <laughs> Tyler. The commentary track is mumbling and shit. Oh. Like, it's gonna suck. Everyone who bought that's gonna be sad they did. Um, but the the uh, other Blu-ray would be great. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to pee my pants. We got it ended. We just got I don't it. have to pee, so I'm being cut off because yeah, you didn't pee. either. We, none of us have to pee. You know what? I think just you pee right now. I dare you pee right now. I dare now. you. <laughs> I'm gonna you know what? I'm, I'm going to go pee right diapers. here. Right here. You I, got, I got right a Tron box I can pee in. I think I, I can hold Tron, it off. Oh, yeah? <laughs> piss, gotta... piss in my Tron box. I dare you. <laughs> That's the title of this week's podcast. Johnny, don't ask me the title tomorrow. Piss in my Tron box, comma, I dare you. I dare you. <laughs> YouTube's going to love it. Yeah. We're not going to be demonetized. That doesn't happen. We're P-I dollar sign, dollar sign. P my chair's lower than, the, than yours. That's a psychological trick I played on you because you, you were last. Oh, thank you. You feel better, better now? Yo, yeah, but yeah. Get a, go to the wide shot. Here. Get it. Go down. There we go. There we go. That's yeah. better, huh? That's how that's Thanks you like for it. watching, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>